And good evening, everyone. This is Ken Ripley along with Darren Hodges, and we're at Panther Stadium ready for another ball game with the Fort Stockton Panthers in pre-district play tonight. Uh, the Fort Stockton Panthers tonight take on the Class 5A Division I Clint Horizon Scorpions. And the Panthers in 4A Division II. So, Darren, these guys are three divisions above the Panthers in the UIL uh, rankings or the division uh, the divisions, I guess you might say. And so uh, this is a bigger school that we'll be playing tonight. But we've noticed uh, looking at the starting lineup for both teams that uh, neither team has a two-way starter, at least, uh, you know, not as starters. I'm sure we'll see them in backup roles, but as starters, neither team has a two-way starter. Well, uh, you know, that's true, and I think that's helped us in our first two games because we played so well in the second half that, uh, you know, it's good to have a little build a little depth. You know, Horizon has about a thousand more students in high school, though, than Fort Stockton, so it's a decent sized school, and yeah, uh, yeah. you know, and they're gonna. I think they'll be much improved over last year. Yeah, Darren, I think so too. This is the second year for their head coach, Dewan Smith, and uh, they returned four offensive starters and six defensive starters. You know, we only return, I think, two defensive starters, five on offense. So, uh, you know, uh, we certainly have a lot of work to do on defense, but. The Panthers have played fairly well uh, in these first two games, going to 2-0 and over uh, the first two teams that we played, El Paso Austin, a 4A Division I school, and then the Alpine Bucks. It is, and, and I think the main thing is we've improved. Uh, I thought our improvement, maybe especially the quarterback position, I thought the quarterback play uh, improved quite a bit from game one to game two, and uh, we're, we're getting better. All right, so we're going to have Coach's Corner and uh, that's with Panther head coach Jeremy Hickman. Uh, I interviewed him uh, yesterday morning, and so we'll talk to him and here at Coach's Corner. Right after that, we'll be back for our pregame show, and we'll have the starters for both ball clubs. Kickoff tonight from Panther Stadium at 7 p.m., a beautiful, clear evening. It is very warm, but we've got some pretty gusty wind out of the southeast tonight. And the air conditioner's blowing right down my back, but I'll be okay. <laughs> All right, we'll have Coach's Corner, and we'll be back with our pregame show. It's time for Coach's Corner with KFST's Ken Ripley and head coach and athletic director of the Fort Stockton Panthers, Jeremy Hickman. Coach's Corner is brought to you by Spring Branch Water Well Service, Cassandra's Flowers and More, La Rosita Cafe, and by CBD American Shaman. Join us now for Coach's Corner. Hello, everyone. This is Ken Ripley, and we're talking with head coach and athletic director of the Fort Stockton Panthers, Jeremy Hickman. And we're on Coach's Corner. Coach, we had a big victory over the Alpine Bucks last Friday, 27-7, to to go to 2-0 uh, on the season. So what was your overall reaction to that ball game last Friday? You know, I was very proud of the, the Panthers kind of sticking it through, you know, going through, you know, handling some adversity, but also just f facing a, a, a real motivated Alpine team. They played really, really hard. Uh, for a while, and so I was proud of our kids, uh, especially in the second half, coming up with a, a couple of big stops that we needed and then going ahead and, and, and converting those into points. But overall, uh, Alpine came in here and played really hard, uh, continued to show some things that we need to improve on, so I was happy to see some things that we were able to work on this week. But overall, we win, and, and, and I was very proud of that. Yeah, it was uh, another game where the Panthers started just a bit slow, but uh, showed improvement from last week's game. So how were, how pleased were you with the improvement you saw? And, and you hit the nail on the head. It did start off slow, but we did see some improvement. There were some things that we really worked on that we wanted to improve on, and we did. And there's also some things that we saw that we should continue to need to improve on, just like starting a little faster or coming out and not necessarily feeling our way through the first half. Uh, you know, being a, being a little more on on the attack when it comes to that stuff. So we worked on that this week. But overall, I was proud of the improvement this week, especially with the young younger kids going from their first varsity game into their second varsity game. This week, going into the third one, you know, we're playing some good athletes. So we're going to see some uh, so uh, we'll see some opportunities to see if our kids have really improved and 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 give us another chance to evaluate them. All right, let's uh, zero in on the offense for a moment. Uh, the passing game, I thought, looked better this week, and the running game was very solid. So uh, what did you think of the offensive play? You know, we talked last week about trying to improve our, our passing game and, and getting that involved because we don't want to be one-dimensional. We feel confident in our run game. We feel like we can do that. But we have to be able to develop some other aspects of our offense. Uh, 
you know, not necessarily to win to beat Alpine, not necessarily to beat Horizon, but to win games further along down the season. We've got to develop an all-around team. And so we're going to continue to work on that this week. But I was uh, pleased with the improvement, uh, happy with it. Not yet. We've got a ways to go uh, with our passing game. But, again, we feel really good about our offensive line and running the football with our with our two off with our two running backs, um, with with Marco being able to run, Cash being able to run some, and Fabian being able to run some. We've got some guys. We just got to continue to try to get the ball into our playmakers' hands. All right, Coach. Uh, let's talk about uh, bright spots you saw on offense. You mentioned the running game, passing game improvement. Uh, who are the standouts you uh, think we had on offense last week? Again, I'm going to go back to our offensive line. Julian Leva and those guys up front really did a good job especially in the second half, I really felt like they took over. Uh, Monans is, I mean, excuse me, Alpine's defensive line really played hard early. And so it did take us a little bit of time to make some adjustments. So I was very, very proud of our offensive line, especially Julian Levy. He had some really, really monster blocks that helped us out. Proud of Corbin Luna, again, sticking with it, getting some tough runs when we needed to. Fabian Silva with, with some good blocking. And then Alonso Galindo with a big catch when we needed to have that catch. So those guys on offense really stood out to me uh, going to, going in, going through the game. And even Isaiah Velasquez having some good, tough runs late in the game to kind of solidify uh, the victory for us. Well, Coach, uh, defense looked good, I thought, too. Uh, you know, really it could have been a shutout because <laughs> – a couple of pass interference calls really led to their only score. So how did the defense look? You know, we had one bad drive in the game in that uh, early in the first half. And, and so it did kind of prolong with some pass interference calls. Um, and, and we've got to be better with that. There's some situations, again, that showed us that we're, we're using our hands too much in coverage. Uh, one of those pass interference calls was, was a no doubt. The kid was touching him. The kid was, was, was grabbing on him up high. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so there's no doubt about it. And we really kind of worked on some of those footwork deals that to help us with that. But overall, the defense, I thought, got some big stops when we needed to. The, again, they're very, very young across the board. Um, Xavier Dominguez, one of our, our senior starters, really stepped up in the second half and made a difference. He's going to be a monster for us uh, as he was last year. But again, I, I really like the growth of our linebackers. We, we had some guys that came off the bench, Louis Ramos, and did some really good stuff for us and, and showed us some things that he can do. So we're going to try to you know, utilize some more guys this week. And, and, and we've got a little different rotation with some guys that, that showed up last week. And if they're going to play well and do those things, we're going to get them in the ball game. All right, Coach. Uh, what would you see say that we need to improve on the most now after two games uh, under our belt? Again, uh, we got to continue to develop our passing game. We've got to continue to work on that, whether it be short passes, whether it be, you know, taking some vertical shots. We've got to find a vertical threat uh, on that side of it. We've got to continue to work on our tackling. We've, we've got to be able – we're getting guys down, but I'm, I think there's some technique things that we really need to work on, and we worked on that this week. But I would say the biggest – those two, those are the two biggest things that we need to improve on going into this week's game. All right, we'll take a break here on Coach's Corner. We'll be back in just a moment. Spring Branch Water Well Service offers complete sales and service of windmills, pumps, pressure tanks, water storage tanks, poly pipe, and offers generator rentals as well as testing and plugging. They're equipped with a well camera and will work at residential, commercial, agricultural, industrial, and oil field locations. They're located at 2905 West 9th Street. For great customer service, call day or night at 336-7867. That's 336-PUMP. La Rosita Cafe invites everyone into their quaint restaurant for delicious Mexican food plates. Open Tuesday through Sunday from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. They have a fabulous and varied selection on the menu, and you'll love the taste of real Mexican food and the reasonable prices and great service. They also offer daily specials. La Rosita Cafe is located at 800 North Williams behind the former bus station. They also feature a drive through window. Call for orders to go 336-0099. Cassandra's Flowers and More is located at 803 West Dickinson next to Citibank and they offer beautiful floral arrangements for every special occasion in your life. They also feature personalized baskets made to order green and blooming plants, balloons, and of course roses and feature the best prices in town. Call Cassandra's Flowers and More to place your order 336-8809. Cassandra's Flowers and More, 803 West Dickinson. 
CBD American Shaman of Fort Stockton has a complete line of CBD oils in many varieties, along with ointments, lotions, and beauty products. Many also come in capsules and gummies. They also feature treats and oils for your pets, sanitizer, sprays, and gels. CBD American Shaman of Fort Stockton bringing wellness to the world. Every day can be a great day with CBD. Go buy CBD American Shaman of Fort Stockton at 808 West Dickinson Boulevard, Suite A. All right, we're back with segment two with Panther head coach Jeremy Hickman. Coach, let's talk about this week's opponent now, the Clint Horizon Scorpions. Uh, what do you know in general about this team? You know, they're a 5A team out of El Paso, so they're going to be, uh, you know, bigger than us. They're going to be have more numbers than us. But when it comes down to it, they're a football team just like we're a football team. You're going to see the most athletic team that we've faced this year so far. They've got some good athletes. They've got a strong quarterback. They've got a defensive end that's really good and linebackers that are really active. So they're going to present some issues to us, and it's going to be up to us to execute it and play our game and put them away in the second half. Well, Coach, uh, this is a much bigger team, 5A Division One, which mm -hmm. is three divisions above us. Sure. Uh, they're 1-1 one and one on the season. They beat uh, Jefferson 15 to nothing. They lost to Bowie 28-16. to um, so how they looked in these first two ball games, in your opinion? You know, when I, fir when I first watched them, I kind of saw a lot of athletic ability just off the cuff. And then as I continued to watch them throughout the week, I really felt like there's some things that if they put together, they can be a pretty solid ball club. Uh, historically, they have not been a strong football program. They've won some games, they've got some athletes, and there's ability there to win. The quarterback really stands out to me. He does a good job of, of making plays with his feet. He does a good job of prolonging plays, avoiding rush, uh, rushes and getting the ball down the field. He's also slick with his feet as well. They've got receivers that can run. And, again, the, their offensive line and defensive line, I, I felt like stood out on film watching them. All right, Coach, uh, what kind of offense and defense are we going to see from Horizon? You're going to see spread offense. They're, they're very wide open, but you're going to be they're going to get into some two-back looks for us as well. Uh, but they're going to try to mix it up and throw the ball down the field. They try to, to, to vertically attack you on offense, along with mixing in some good run games. Again, their offensive line is pretty solid with some of that stuff. Defensively, you're going to see a 4-3 defense, a two-high look, meaning they're going to keep try to keep two safeties up uh, as deep as they can for, for as much of it. They'll roll up into some man and, and change it up. But for my, primarily, you're going to see a four-man front, three linebacker look with, with a two-high safety look. Okay, and who are the big standouts for Clint Horizon? Again, I'll go back to the quarterback. He's done a good job. Defensive end, number 40, really, really active. They've got a couple of linebackers that are active, in the, and they've got two receivers that can really, really run. And so there, there's, some, there's some nervousness on my end that we've got to be right and be able to cover those guys at the right time. We've got to be able to contain contain the quarterback scramble as well because he does good. But, but the defensive end, the linebackers, the quarterback, and, and receivers, along with the O-line and D-line. Okay, uh, Coach, let's talk about how we compare uh, with the Horizon Scorpions as far as talent level, strength, and size. You know, I, I, looking at them, again, I think they're an athletic team. Uh, they, they've got across the board more athletes than we've faced. Del Rio had some athletes, uh, but I'm just saying across the board receiver-wise, they've that. I also think it's important for us to establish the run early. We haven't done that in the last last couple of games. We've kind of uh, – Kind of, th kind of start off throwing, and I really want to see if we can start the run game off running and see if that will get us going a little faster on offense. But I think the keys to victory are going to be ball control, going to be ball security, and, and I think it's going to be coverage mm -hmm. on our end of it, main maintaining coverage, the integrity of the coverages that are called, and, and staying in good position and playing defense with our feet in the secondary. You know, and we talked last week about how uh, Alpine had passed the ball quite a bit, but uh, yes. they didn't have much success against the Panthers last week. Uh, so uh, hopefully the uh, pass defense will continue to be good against Horizon. Yes, sir, and, and we've really worked hard on that. Coach Bragg and his and the defensive staff have, have spent a lot of time working a lot of technique this week. We're, we're rolling in some different coverages and, and then adding to the coverages that we're utilizing just to kind of give some different looks to kind of create those turnovers. But I've been really proud of our secondary kids. They're working hard. They're the young kids uh, uh, besides Isaiah and, and Randy, but we've got a lot of young kids rolling out there. So it's a uh, – Kind of trial by fire with those guys, and so they're getting better each week, so I'm proud of that. Okay, and uh, offensively against the Scorpions, what's the, the base plan this week? You know, 
we're just going to try to get better at what we do. We, we, we're not adding a lot of stuff. We're just going to try to get better at what we do and what our game plan is going into the season. Just get balls to the guys that need to get the balls to. Also been able to read the defensive looks and make the adjustments that we need to make. So we're just going to continue to work on our game plan for the year, but but get the offense running as, as high efficiency as we can. All right, Coach. Uh, we, we did see a couple of guys uh, you know, go out uh, with uh, little nagging injuries, perhaps. Uh, it looked like they were okay, but you, you can tell us more about that. How's our injury and wellness situation? You know, we did have a few guys get banged up during the game, and they missed some player or two there, but everybody that was injured went back in mm -hmm. uh, during the game. We had very high-intensity practice on Wednesday. So, again, the kids are working hard every day, and they're trying to get better, and so I, I couldn't ask for more when it comes to that. You mentioned uh, earlier about our young players and this being their third varsity yeah. game. Uh, how's the progress going with these guys? You know, I felt like last week they started to get in a rhythm in practice because it is a little different. And, and this week it was kind of felt like we were business as usual at this point. The kids are getting that the hang of, of how to practice as a varsity player, the focus that it takes throughout the week on different aspects of practice. So, mm -hmm. again, I feel like there's growth, and I feel like the kids are really hungry to get better. I really feel this team is hungry. And watching them practice, you can see they're trying hard to be their best. All right, how did it feel playing at home last week and under on, on the new surface, by the way, uh, and with the new lighting? How did all that feel? It was awesome. You know, to be honest with you, our kids were fired up. We've been on the grass fields over there, which, which are great. We're lucky to have those for since May. And so it was awesome to be able to get back on the turf uh, that our community allowed us to have, and it was awesome to showcase that. Really felt like the kids were excited. It was, it was really, really cool to showcase the lights that we've put in. And I really felt like the fans and the crowd had an impact on the game. When we kind of flashed those lights after that, that second touchdown of the game in the second half, I felt like the energy in the stadium went up, and, and you could feel that. And fans and our, and our support really make a difference in the game. The kids and the sideline, we can feel the energy, and I really felt like the energy went up, and our kids really enjoyed that. And it was fun to be, be at home, and it was fun for our fans to see all of the stuff that they've been able to allow us to have. All right, Coach, uh, how's the district looking after the second week? You know, you had Pecos with their first action with a big blowout win. Monahan's winning again over a tough team. Uh, Mountain View looking pretty solid. Clint looking pretty solid. Uh, so what do you think? You know, again, we've discussed this. Every team in our district has different challenges. Uh, you know, Monahan's is going to be the team to beat. That That's a year yearly thing. They, they had a big win against Andrews. And, again, Pecos put on a show against Tornillo. Um, San or San Elzario, that's right. And then, um, you know, Clint's win over Isleta was, was pretty shocking to me. Yeah. But, again, like I said last week, you know, only giving up 34 points to Hershey, mm -hmm. you know, so they've gotten better. They were young last year. And then Mountain View is the same way. Coach Check does a good job. His offense is, is pretty innovative, and so they're going to score some points. So, again, I think our district, week in and week out, is going to be uh, a challenge. Okay, Coach, this is a team <clears throat> that we're facing tonight that we defeated 31-3 to last year. Do you believe last year's outcome will affect the motivation of either team? I do not think so. You know, uh, and I don't know how it will affect the Horizon Scorpions, but I think the Panthers, we're just working to get better every day. We don't really ever talk about the opponent. They're all nameless, faceless opponents to us. Our job is to come in Monday and get better Tuesday and get better on Wednesday to get better and have our test on Friday. So our kids have that mindset. We have not talked about last year. We haven't. We just talked about this is the, our opponent this week, and this is what we have to do to get better as Panthers, and this is what we have to do to, to win the game on Friday. All right, Coach, I know you want to have another big crowd here at home uh, at Panther Stadium, which has uh, really turned out beautiful with the new uh, turf and the lights. With our game with Clint Horizon, it's going to be a big night. Yes, and it was, it was fantastic to look up there and see our stands packed. And again, once those lights started flashing and our crowd got really loud, the kids could feel it, the coaches could feel it. You could hear us talking about it, like, man, the energy in this stadium went up. And so we, we ask our fans to come out, support the kids, and, and you do make a difference. And it takes all of us to, to win a football game. And, and y'all's energy last week really helped our kids. So we hope you come out and do it again. All right, Coach, good luck tonight against Clint. Yes, sir, thank you. All right, and that's going to wrap it up for Coach's Corner this week. I'm Ken Ripley for KFST. You've been listening to Coach's Corner with KFST's Ken Ripley and head coach and athletic director of the Fort Stockton Panthers, Jeremy Hickman. Coach's Corner has been brought to you by Spring Branch Water Well Service. 
Cassandra's Flowers and More, La Rosita Cafe, and by CBD American Shaman. And good evening, everyone. Ken Ripley along with Darren Hodges, and we're on the pregame show live from Panther Stadium. Beautiful evening. It is hot, though, and uh, we've got a breeze coming out of the south-southeast, and we've kind of gone back to that pattern that we had in the summertime of uh, really not cooling off very much in the evening. So I wonder, you know, how long the heat is going to last here at Panther Stadium. It could make a difference in the conditioning factor in this ball game for our players. Well, it is. Luckily, our bench will be in the shade by the time the game starts, and uh, El Paso will be in the sun at least the first half. It, yeah. it is. It's It's been a very hot summer, and it's supposed to cool down next week. Yeah, it is. Uh, Tuesday, it's supposed to cool down. Um, we'll check the temperature here uh, tonight at Panther Stadium, but, uh, you know, about 10 after 6, it was still 100 degrees, and uh, right now it's 99 here in Fort Stockton, so it's still very, very warm for this time of the evening. I'm 98.6. <laughs> well, you may be cooler than that with the air conditioner we've got in the background. That's, that's true. I'll tell you what, Darren, we've got an interesting matchup here tonight, a Class 5A Division I team coached by Dewan Smith in his second year for Clint Horizon. They return, uh, looks like, eight returners, 11 lettermen returning, four on offense, six on defense from a team that went winless last year. I, I'm kind of surprised by that. And they went 0-5 in district play. Um, you know, but uh, they've got a returning quarterback who is a senior, and he's uh, supposed to have some pretty good talent. Of course, uh, when you get to a 5A school and a 5A team, uh, the, the, talent, the talent is usually there. It's usually there. I think this, this seems like maybe a newer school. We were there. They had some great facilities last yeah. year. Well, uh, you know, Clint has three high schools. Uh, there's Mountain View and Clint, which are in our district. And then you've got the bigger school, which is Horizon, a little bit closer to El Paso. <laughs> I think they're, they all look like they're in El Paso to me pretty yeah. much. But they're close. Okay, so, uh, Darren, what do you think about this matchup here tonight, uh, Horizon and Fort Stockton? Horizon comes in at 1-1. One and one. They've already, you know, bested their record from last year. They do have a victory over El Paso Jefferson, I believe, 14-7. to seven. And then they lost, uh, was it to Isleta or Riverside last week? I can't remember. I think. Yeah. Uh, I, no, it was Riverside, I think. But uh, I thought Riverside played Isleta last week. But, you know, Horizon – I believe went 0-10 last year, so they've already had a successful season winning one game. <laughs> and so I'm sure they want to double that tonight. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we uh, we played well against Horizon last year uh, up there in, in Clint or El Paso, wherever it may yeah. be. I, you know, they're not they're not as, you know, I think this will be the smallest team. I think Alpine had more big players than, and certainly Austin had some big players. So yeah. this will be the smallest team I believe we've seen. Yeah, they didn't look uh, that big up front. Uh, but, you know, uh, Darren, we played well in the first two games. Uh, we played El Paso Austin and won, I think, 21. Was it 21 to 7? Or Yes. Or uh, no, like it was that. 20. 20 it was 27 to 13 is what it was. And then uh, last week I think we won 27 to 7 over Alpine. And the only touchdown that Alpine scored last week was helped by pass interference penalties by us, uh, kind of helping them march down the field. Uh, two very good calls by a very good officiating crew last week on those pass interference, and that led to a score. But, you know, our defense played well. Uh, we played really well in the second half. I think, you know, the first half we we kind of, I don't know if we're a little bit just checking out, but uh, the, seeing what they're doing. But the adjustments and our play in the second half uh, of both the first two games have been Really, really done a great job. All right, so we'll take a break. It's the pregame show here on KFST, and uh, we'll be back with the starting lineups in just a moment. It's time for the pregame show with game announcers Ken Ripley and Darren Hodges. This year's pregame show is brought to you by Bayou Terraza, Miller Meat Company, Edward Jones Investments, to Ross's Furniture, and by Fort Stockton Body Shop. Join us now for the pregame show. 
One of Fort Stockton's greatest treasures is Bella Terrassa, downtown Fort Stockton, the fabulous gift and home decor store. Amy makes frequent trips to the market and brings back many special and unique items that would be a great addition to any home. For glassware, pottery, western items, unique home furnishings, antique items, kitchen items, pictures, mirrors, and much more. Shop Bella Terrassa today with great prices to suit West Texas. Visit Bella Terrassa, downtown Fort Stockton at 116 North Main. The old days of a local butcher shop are still here with Miller Meat Company of Fort Stockton, where you'll find that old-fashioned quality and service. You can even call in your order and they'll have it ready for pickup. Something new is the tomahawk steak, a large whole rib, a bone-in ribeye steak, two to three inches thick and delicious. They have pre-seasoned meats available too that are great for barbecuing, like shrimp and beef kebabs, fajita pinwheels, and sirloin steaks. Miller Meat Company at 1013 North Nelson. Call today, 336-2979. Be sure to shop the great deals at Terrazas Furniture downtown Fort Stockton. They have the largest selection of furniture in the Trans-Pecos and have the most affordable prices anywhere. They're your authorized Ashley Furniture dealer with so many different styles of bedroom suits, dining room suits, living room furniture, recliners, entertainment centers, and more. All major credit cards accepted, plus they have in-house financing available. See Terrazas Furniture today for all your home furnishings at 106 North Main, downtown Fort Stockton. If your saving for retirement approach involves the phrase, I'll get around to it someday, Edward Jones can help. When it comes to meeting your goals, time can be on your side. And there's no better time than now to get started towards your retirement goals. Edward Jones Financial Advisor Sal Salazar can help. For all your investment needs, call 336-3611. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. When you need expert auto body repair, see the guys who've been in the business for many years at Fort Stockton Body Shop, 102 West Hornbeck. They offer auto body repair for minor fender benders to repairing your vehicle after a more serious accident. They'll repair and paint like new along with replacement parts needed and your vehicle will be working like new again. They also offer auto glass repair and replacement and window tinting. Free estimates also available at Fort Stockton Body Shop, 102 West Hornbeck. All right, we're back here at uh, Panther Stadium. Ken Ripley and Darren Hodges on our pregame show. And we've talked a little bit about uh, both teams uh, today. And now if we've finished analyzing, let's talk about the actual players, Darren. We've got uh, Clint Horizon and uh, Fort Stockton. You go ahead with the offense, starting offense tonight for the Fort Stockton Panthers. All right, tonight for Fort Stockton. Guy that's had a couple of great games at running back number five, Corbin Luna. He's a senior. Flanker number eight, Fabian Silva. He's a junior. Uh, our quarterback number 10, Marco Garcia. He's a senior. Wide receiver number 13, Alonzo Galindo. He's a junior. Wide receiver number 15, Cash Norman. He's just a sophomore. We've got at left guard number 56, Jose Baiza. He's a sophomore. Right guard 58, Andre Washington. He's a junior. Right tackle, number 65, Eden Virial, he's a junior. Center, number 73, Andres Sotelo, he's a junior. Left tackle, number 77, Julian Leva, he's a senior. And we've got wide receiver, number 88, Martin Guerrero, he's a senior. All right, now let's take a look at the uh, defense for Clint Horizon. And uh, it will be, let's see, Ruben Terrones, a linebacker, and he's a junior. The free safety, Joshua Munoz, a senior. Linebacker, Israel Duarte, he's a junior. Linebacker, Jose Soriano, a senior. Defensive back, Andres Garcia, a junior. Defensive back, Julian Maltos, a senior. Uh, linebacker, Sergio Santana. And uh, also we have uh, defensive end, Donovan Hunter, a, a senior. Defensive tackle, Caios Perez, a junior. And Angel Morua, a defensive end, a junior. Defensive tackle, Francisco Cuevas, a junior. All right, we'll be back with uh, more on the pregame show right after this. If your saving for retirement approach involves the phrase, I'll get around to it someday, Edward Jones can help. When it comes to meeting your goals, time can be on your side. And there's no better time than now to get started towards your retirement goals. Edward Jones Financial Advisor Sal Salazar can help. For all your investment needs, call 336-3611. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. 
When you need expert auto body repair, see the guys who've been in the business for many years at Fort Stockton Body Shop, 102 West Hornbeck. They offer auto body repair for minor fender benders to repairing your vehicle after a more serious accident. They repair and paint like new along with replacement parts needed and your vehicle will be working like new again. They also offer auto glass repair and replacement and window tinting. Free estimates also available at Fort Stockton Body Shop, 102 West Hornbeck. Be sure to shop the great deals at Terrazas Furniture, downtown Fort Stockton. They have the largest selection of furniture in the Trans-Pecos and have the most affordable prices anywhere. They're your authorized Ashley Furniture dealer with so many different styles of bedroom suits, dining room suits, living room furniture, recliners, entertainment centers, and more. All major credit cards accepted, plus they have in-house financing available. See Terrazas Furniture today for all your home furnishings at 106 North Main, downtown Fort Stockton. The old days of a local butcher shop are still here with Miller Meat Company of Fort Stockton, where you'll find that old-fashioned quality and service. You can even call in your order and they'll have it ready for pickup. Something new is the tomahawk steak, a large whole rib, a bone-in ribeye steak, two to three inches thick and delicious. They have pre-seasoned meats available too that are great for barbecuing like shrimp and beef kebabs, fajita pinwheels and sirloin steaks. Miller Meat Company at 1013 North Nelson. Call today, 336-2979. One of Fort Stockton's greatest treasures is Bella Terrassa, downtown Fort Stockton, the fabulous gift and home decor store. Amy makes frequent trips to the market and brings back many special and unique items that would be a great addition to any home. For glassware, pottery, western items, unique home furnishings, antique items, kitchen items, pictures, mirrors, and much more, shop Bella Terrassa today with great prices to suit West Texas. Visit Bella Terrassa, downtown Fort Stockton at 116 North Main. All right, now I'll take a look at the Clint Horizon starting offense. Quarterback is Robert Rodriguez, a senior. Wide receiver, Abraham Roa, a senior. Wide receiver, Ezekiel Bonilla, a senior. And wide receiver, Jacob Olivo, a junior. Running back is Julio Jimenez, a senior. Wide receiver, Abraham Barraza, a sophomore. And at center, it'll be Jesus Garcia, a senior. Right tackle, Sebastian Loya, a junior. Right guard, Joshua Rodriguez, a junior. Left tackle, Osvaldo Munoz, a senior. And then we have left guard, Dominic Enriquez, a senior. So that's the starting offense for Horizon. All right, let me give you the special teams and then the defense. Uh, kicking our points uh, after touchdown is number nine, Diego Ramos, a sophomore, and our punter's number 11, Jerry Diaz. He's a sophomore. Now on defense for Fort Stockton. At free safety, number four, Isaiah Velasquez. He's a senior. At strong safety, number 11, Jerry Diaz, he's a sophomore. At linebacker, number 14, Rylan Nunez, he's a junior. At uh, cornerback, number 20, Gabriel Caballero, he's a senior. At safety, number 22, Kyle Rojero, he's a junior. At cornerback, number 30, Randy Sandoval, he's a senior. Number 32, Evian uh, Acosta is a defensive end, and he's a junior. Our middle linebacker is number 33, EJ Ortiz, he's a junior. Our linebacker, number 34, Landon Havens, he's a junior. Nose guard, number 54, and he's a good one. Xavier Dominguez, he's a senior. And uh, defensive end, number 81, Braden Valenzuela, he's a junior. All right, we are about to have the national anthem here at Panther Stadium, and the Panthers are still have not quite entered the field, but we're waiting on them, and we'll be back. We've got the kickoff of tonight's game coming up shortly here on KFST, AM and FM, also KFSTradio.com, and we're on our Facebook and uh, our uh, YouTube pages, and our live stream is brought to you by the Pecos County State Bank. Thanks to them for making that possible for our live stream. Thanks to Tristan Barragon and Alonzo Urias for being on the camera crew. Daryl Scott is keeping our stats tonight. Darren Hodges on the color, and then... Uh, I'm Ken Ripley here with the play-by-play. -play. We're ready to go, Darren. I'm ready. All right, we'll be back in a moment. And we've got the kickoff coming up from Panther Stadium. You have been listening to the pregame show with game announcers Ken Ripley and Darren Hodges. This year's pregame show has been brought to you by Bayou Terraza, Miller Meat Company, Edward Jones Investments, Terraza's Furniture, and by Fort Stockton Body Shop. Stay tuned for Panther football coming up next on KFST. It's time now for Fort Stockton High School Panther football on KFST AM and FM, KFSTradio.com, 
and on KFST's Facebook and YouTube pages. Panther Football brought to you by Bucks Lube Center, Bienvenidos Mexican Food Restaurant, the Pecos County State Bank, Cassia Ledesma State Farm, Amistad Motors, the Steakhouse Restaurant, Triple R Welding, Adonis Sanitation, Rainwater Motor Company, Farmers Insurance Agent, Adelina Salazar, Citibank, K Bob Steakhouse, Heritage Funeral Home, MJ Fast Lube, Julie's Easy Press, MJ Trucking, Sawyer Insurance. Glitzy Trends in Glitzy Brew, Contessa Ready Mix, Little Regina Trucking, Lowe's Marketplace, and the Sagebrush Cafe. Panther Football also brought to you by Weiss Tire, Designer Carpets and Interiors, Pepito's Cafe, Permian Basin Abstract, the First National Bank, Cactus Health Services, the Guadalajara Mexican Grill, Stockton Glass and Mirror, Porky's Ice House, Angie Miles at Turnkey Realty, The Water Factory, Salceda Urgent Care and Family Medicine, Alamo Tire and Auto Repair, Concept Inc., CTG Express, Fort Stockton Insurance Agency, Fort Stockton ISD, Ram Country of Fort Stockton, Triple G Supply and Services, Big Ben Concrete, West Texas Eye Care, Panther Pictures, and RK Rentals and Party Supplies. Now stay tuned for Panther Football. Well, good evening. We're back for the kickoff of tonight's ball game. Thanks to all of our sponsors for making our broadcast possible all season long. By the way, we're also going to be starting volleyball broadcast when district play starts, and that's on Saturday, September 23rd, our first uh, district volleyball game. Wow. Now, did, I hope you're watching the video. Alonzo was right down there. It looked like he was part of the action. I was ready for the camera to go flying when he got hit, but uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I like the camera work. Yeah, Alonzo is down there on the sideline. And, there he uh, is. Yeah, he's on the screen <laughs> now. And, you know, Alonzo has got our remote camera. It's a wireless. And uh, we're going to have some field shots, so that's nice. And our national anthem is about to be played by the Pride of Pantherland Band and the flag raising by the uh, American GI Forum. So uh, we'll be back with more Panther football in just a moment. Buck's Lube Center is located at 310 West Dickinson in Fort Stockton. They feature quick oil changes, multi-point vehicle checks, inspection stickers, and fuel filters for all vehicles, specializing in mobile oil, but with motorcraft also in stock. Buck's Lube Center is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Remember, for reasonable prices and great service, it's Buck's Lube Center, 310 West Dickinson, Fort Stockton. They hope to serve you on every oil change. Sawyer Insurance Agency has six locations in West Texas to serve you, including 706 West Dickinson in Fort Stockton and 1502 South Stockton Avenue in Monahans, along with offices in Pecos, Midland, Lubbock, and Amarillo. They offer the most complete line of commercial and personal insurance from workers' comp, general liability, business and personal auto, commercial property, equipment, oil and gas, farm and ranch, and home insurance. Contact Clyde, Nathan, or Travis Sawyer today by calling 336-7543 or 943-9600. Do you know where you can get a great lunch special for a very affordable price? At Bienvenidos Mexican Food Restaurant, of course. Their lunch special is served Monday through Friday during lunchtime. Monday, it's the taco plate. Tuesday, it's the grilled chicken salad. Wednesday, it's Bienvenidos nachos. Thursday, it's the hamburger basket. And Friday, it's the enchilada plate. You can come by Sunday through Friday from 9 to 11 a.m. for a delicious Mexican-style breakfast. Bienvenidos, open Sunday through Friday, starting at 9 a.m. at 405 East Dickinson. This is Dakota Livesay for the Pecos County State Bank. The ethic of West Texas is one of dedication. Hard work, chin up, get it done. Long hours and extra effort always pays off in the long run. At the Pecos County State Bank, you will find employees who will do what it takes to make sure you are satisfied. You will find dedication, a West Texas institution since 1928. The Pecos County State Bank, all the bank you'll ever need. Member FDIC. Well, we're back at Panther Stadium. The captains are a meeting at the center of the field. Captains tonight for Fort Stockton, Corbin Luna and Julian Leva, and also uh, Xavier Dominguez and Isaiah Velasquez and also Marco Garcia. Those are some very key players for the Fort Stockton Panthers and they're all captains for this game tonight. Yeah, I thought all five of them had outstanding games last week. Ah, look I'll, at that video there. I'll never forget the, um, you know, the block that Julian had in the last game to free up Marco Garcia for that touchdown. What a beautiful block. But they all played very well last week. Corbin with another 120-plus yard game. 
Uh, yeah, Cor Corbin's doing really well. Yeah, they said after, uh, you know, Julian hit that guy, and today when they were practicing, they found the guy's mouthpiece up on the flagpole. <laughs> so he really hit him hard. That's well, a long way to, to knock a mouthpiece, isn't it? Looks like uh, we've got at least one local official out there. And uh, Fort, we Stockton, won the toss. Fort Stockton uh, will be kicking. We have deferred. We won the toss. And we'll be kicking against the wind in this first quarter. All right, so the kickoff of tonight's game coming up. We'll be back from Panther Stadium in just a moment. Stuck in a state of falling behind? Struggling to keep up with your kids, finances, insurance? Then let State Farm Automobile Insurance Company help you simplify and get to a better state. Because I, Kessie Ledesma, your local State Farm agent, can handle your auto, home, and life insurance. So you'll have more time for everything else. Call me today at 432-336-8575 and get to a better state with State Farm. Okay, we're back. We've got the kickoff man for Fort Stockton out there, Xavier Dominguez, who also plays nose guard on defense. And it will be uh, Horizon, the Scorpions. That's a pretty neat mascot. They're back to return this kick. Number three, uh, Abraham Roa, one of their wide receivers. Also another receiver, Ezekiel Bonilla. They're both to return the kick deep. But, uh, you know, it may not go that deep because of this wind. It's uh, pretty stiff out of the southeast tonight at I'd say 15 to 25 miles per hour. Very warm temperatures here in Fort Stockton tonight. A few minutes ago, it was 99 degrees still uh, here in Fort Stockton. That's pretty warm. All right, here we go, and it's a big crowd for Fort Stockton tonight. Lots of blue here on the sideline, on the stands. All right, here's the kick, and it is a pretty good kick considering that wind, and uh, that's taken at about the nine yard line and they've got an opening right up the middle. That's a real nice return. Still going is number three, Abraham Roa, with a great return all the way to the 42-yard line from the nine all the way to the 42. So that's about a 33-yard return on that kickoff uh, by Abraham Roa, and that gives them great field position at their own 42-yard line for a first and 10 on their first possession. That was a pretty deep kick. I think he took it on the first bounce, but he got up the middle and really wasn't touched for about 25 yards, and then he was able to maybe sling off a tackler. Yeah, Darren, there was too much of an opening right up the middle of our uh, coverage. First down and 10 for Horizon. They've got one back in the backfield, quarterback in the shotgun, and four wide receivers, two on each side. We'll see the spread tonight. And there's a bobble snap, and uh, Fort Stockton will try to catch the quarterback. There's a flag coming in from the backfield, which would normally indicate a holding call. And we'll see. You know, I, I'm looking. One of our best players is our nose guard, uh, uh, that is Xavier a, Dominguez. That is a holding call on Horizon. And, and look at the Horizon center. He's probably seven or eight inches shorter than our nose guard. He's really really short. Well, the uh, quarterback bobbled the snap, recovered very quickly, and made a good run around the right side. However, he was freed up apparently by a holding call. So it's now going to be first down and 20 for the Horizon Scorpions. That will, you know, negate some of that return yardage. First and 20. Three receivers on the right, one on the left. Shotgun for the quarterback, and that's Robert Rodriguez. He hands it off up the middle and immediately hit on the play for a one-yard gain for the Panther defense. And now I think Rylan Nunez was in on that and uh, also Isaiah Velasquez. Yeah, nice job, really. The, the defensive line stood them up, didn't allow any, any, any movement up front, and then Isaiah and Rylan came and cleaned it up. So that's only a one-yard gain. So it'll be a second and 19 coming up for Horizon. Three receivers again on the right, one on the left. Quarterback Rodriguez with one running back in the backfield, and that is Julio Jimenez. And there's the throw, and it's into the middle of the field. Did we intercept it? It's right at the turf. I believe the Panthers uh, intercepted the ball before it touched the turf. The officials are going to, to, to discuss it, but I believe we've got a change in possession. That's a turnover as the Panthers intercept it before the ball hit the turf. That's gotta be an outstanding play by Sandoval. That is, and that's brought to you by m &J Trucking Company. Sandoval, 
Randy Sandoval for Fort Stockton intercepts the ball at the 40 yard line. And that's a big turnover against Horizon. Here come the Panthers now on offense with a receiver on each side. Two running backs in the backfield flanking the quarterback on each side. Marco Garcia, the shotgun. Here's the handoff, and that goes to Corbin Luna. Luna inside the 35, down to the 34-yard line. They spotted at the 34. Was now it? That, that was number eight for Fort Stockton. That's Silva. Uh, Fabian Silva, okay. Yes. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, Fabian had the ball that time, apparently. Second down and four now coming up for the Panthers at the uh, Horizon 34 yard line. And here's the handoff this time to Corbin who gets the corner. He's got a first down and he is going to still be going inside the 15 yard line down to the 13. And that's a big gain, 21 yards for, um, and that's a Rainwater Motor Company first down, but an outstanding play brought to you by MJ Trucking. Corbin Luna, 21 yards and a first down and we're in the hurry up. And we're in the red zone. That is uh, red zone, and uh, that's we, we brought to you by M&J Fast Loop. First down and 10. Ball at the 13-yard line. Here's the handoff again to Corbin Luna. He will be brought down about the 11-yard line after a gain. Well, they're going to mark it at the 12 on the far side. So it's only a gain of two, second and eight. I thought he had an extra yard. But. That far side was a great cartoon, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. No, but that's... We're not talking about that here. Second down and eight for the Panthers. Marco in the shotgun. Mm -hmm. Corbin Luna, the single running back. Three receivers on the right, one on the left. And here's the uh, throw, and it's completed in the right flat for short yardage. Uh, about a yard, perhaps, gained to the 11-yard line. And the completed pass, I believe, to Fabian Silva. Uh, 13, Alonzo oh, Galindo. All right, Alonzo Galindo on the reception. But only a one-yard gain, and so... Uh, Horizon had that defended very well. It's now third down and seven, and we're deep in their territory in the red zone at the 11. And here's the handoff, goes to Corbin Luna, and that time a speedy number 50 for Horizon. Christopher Gutierrez, a sophomore, really got into the backfield on Corbin and caused a loss back to the original line of scrimmage, back to the 14-yard line. Now we're facing a fourth and 10. Yeah, we... We had it blocked, except we missed one guy, and that one guy made the tackle. If yeah. it could have got past him, but really uh, we need a big play right here. Well, that was an outstanding tackle at the ankles on Corbin Luna. So now we've got Marco in the shotgun, three receivers on the left side, one on the right. And now it will be Marco, and he will pass. Oh, and uh, it looked like it was caught but they say he was out of bounds apparently before the catch. I'm, I'm not sure about that. But uh, that is going to turn it over on downs to, uh, to Clint Horizon. Very well, interesting. It looked like he might have had his foot in bounds on that catch. Let's look at the replay. It's very hard to tell. Hard to tell. I think he might have been just out of bounds. So the ball is at the 14-yard line now, and each team, well, the first uh, possession for Clint Horizon turned over because of an interception. We turn it over on downs deep in horizon territory. That could, I hope that doesn't come back to bite us. Well, I think we did flip the field because they're, they're they're inside the, well, what? Inside the 15. They're inside. First down and 10 from the 14. Here's horizon handing it off. I thought there might've been uh, a loose ball for a moment. Uh, I don't think that was a very secure handoff but I think they did get one yard out of it. It is second and nine. They were lucky to hang on to the ball. You're right. The guy didn't have it. He was he was wrestling it all the way to the ground, and he was lucky to hang on to it because he got hit immediately. Second down and nine now for the Horizon Scorpions, deep in their own territory after a Fort Stockton turnover on downs as we fail to convert in the red zone. Now we have uh, Horizon with a shotgun formation, and. Two, two running backs this time. First time we've seen that formation. And here's the quarterback. He's going to run with the ball, and he will get uh, decent yardage, but not a first down, not yet. But it's still it's out to about the 23-yard line or so. Well, that really got him out. Quarterback did a nice job. He faked the pitch and then pulled it down, got upfield quickly. And then, you know, they've got third and very short. Yeah, third and a yard now for Horizon. So this is a very makeable and manageable third down. 
Got a big weekend of college football. Uh, Texas A&M plays Miami tomorrow on our FM station. That'll be broadcast 1.30, kickoff at 2.30. Third down and one. And here's the handoff. And uh, they will go around the right corner, and I believe they have enough for the first down. It looked like Julio Jimenez uh, got the ball that time, and he is out to the 25, and that will be a first down by about a yard, a couple of yards gained by Jimenez. Yeah, that second down play really hurt us when we gave up almost seven yards. And so, uh, you know, they've got their first first down. The other college game tomorrow is on KFST AM 860. 5 p.m. broadcast, 6 p.m. kickoff, Texas at Alabama. Okay, first down and 10 for Horizon. After their first first down of the evening, they have it at their own 25. Shotgun for the quarterback. Two receivers on each side. And the quarterback back to throw. And it is caught at about the 31-yard line, and he did catch it uh, at about the 31. So that'll be a gain of about six on the play, setting up a second down and four for the Scorpions. Yeah, he threw it where no one could catch it but the receiver. That was down low, but I guess the receiver got his hands under it for the catch. There were at least two of their receivers in that same area. It's second down and four coming up for the Scorpions. The ball is at the 31-yard line. In Clint Horizon Territory. They've got the wind at their back for the rest of this quarter. Game score update is 0-0. Brought to you by Little Regina Trucking. Shotgun, long snap count. Here's a handoff, and that uh, running back really had a burst up the middle that time, uh, Julio Jimenez. You know, I like those quick hitting plays right up the middle like that where the, you know, the running back has uh, really got a lot of momentum going toward the line of scrimmage. And a good handoff there, that's that's a pretty good running play. Well, it is, and I, very close to another first down. It's going to be third in inches. Yeah, third in inches on this one. And it's if they get to the 35-yard line, that's going to be a first down. Well, last time they ran off right tackle, I think I would gamble. And here's a quarterback, a keeper, and he was up under center for the first time tonight. He gets about three yards up to the 38-yard line, and that's a first down and 10 for Horizon. And they're putting together a little drive here, Darren, with two consecutive first downs. Yeah, I think we should have stacked that up once he came under center. Well, I'm thinking quarterback sneak third and four, third and inches, and, and it was. First down and 10 now for Horizon. Ball at the 38-yard line in their own end of the field. Horizon's Rodriguez in the shotgun. Running back, I believe, will be Jimenez again. Yep, he's number nine. Three receivers left and one on the right. Here's the pass completed in the flat, and that's a real nice defensive play. The first guy that got there from Fort Stockton was Diego Ramos, and he really slowed up the receiver and allowed another Panther defender to make the uh, final tackle, but that was a great defensive play. Really was. Read that uh, kind, of a, kind of a wide receiver screen, and yeah. Diego was up there. Really stopped him, but couldn't make the tackle. I think number 14, Ryland Nunez, was the one that finally cleaned it up. And so uh, that's a loss of one on the pass completion for Horizon. Now they've got three receivers on the right side, one on the left, and the quarterback in the shotgun with Julio Jimenez, the running back, just to his left. Second and 11 now. Handoff goes to the running back. Running back will have good yardage. But uh, it'll be third and fairly long. There's a flag coming in. Two fly, three, four. <laughs> that was a fl flag's coming in after the play was dead. So let's see what this is all about. Well, I, I don't well, know. Well, a, a helmet came off of number 60, Jesus Garcia, the center for Horizon. Well, they, that's the center. And, and Xavier Dominguez, they were holding a couple of teammates were holding him back. Uh, the Horizon coaches are out there. I'm wanting to know sure. what's going on, but there's a there's a huddle of referees. Let's see, unsportsmanlike conduct, Fort Stockton. Wow. And that will give them an automatic first down, tacked on to the end of the running play. Wow, it was going to be it was going to be third and about ten, or well, it would it would have been third and about <clears throat> six or seven, but uh, that unsportsmanlike against Fort Stockton. I know that the center had his helmet. I don't know if it was ripped off, but certainly he had it taken off of his head. There's a timeout uh, by Horizon, and the timeout brought to you by RK Rentals and Party Supplies. We'll be back in a moment. 
Hey Panther fans, this is Rudy Franco with Amistad Motors, inviting you to come out and take a look at our pre-owned inventory. We have a good selection of cars, trucks, and SUVs. We have several certified pre-owned units that come with an extended warranty. So if you are in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, drive on over to 2110 West Dickinson or give us a call at 336-9000. Amistad Motors, friends serving friends. Go Blue! The Steakhouse Restaurant has been serving Fort Stockton and the surrounding area for many years with consistently great food and fast, friendly service. They offer daily lunch specials on weekdays at a great value. Each special comes with appropriate sides, super salad, and drink. And they were voted to have the best steaks and enchiladas in Fort Stockton. The Steakhouse Restaurant open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. till 9 p.m. at 1100 West Dickinson in Fort Stockton. All right, Darren, we're back, and uh, that was a personal foul, unsportsmanlike on Fort Stockton. And I think they, officials keep a record of that, and I think if you get a second personal foul penalty, an individual player, I think they're ejected from the game. I think you are correct. And right now they have Xavier over here on, on the bench, I think well, trying to cool him down, and, and I believe Ethan. The coaching uh, staff for Horizon has been out on the field for a very long time, and I don't know what they're upset about or what they're wanting. Uh, are they ejecting someone? I think that they just gave the thumb to eject one of our players. Maybe. If I'm not mistaken, I believe uh, we've had an ejection here. Well, let's see. And I think that that's what Horizon was arguing about. They were wanting an ejection. Let's see. Well, Do you we'll, see Xavier Dominguez on the field? No, he's on the bench right now, sitting down. Okay. So we'll find out. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Xavier is our nose guard, our starting nose guard. We have uh, a different nose guard. Ethan Jimenez, I believe, has come out there. So I, I hope that Xavier uh, was not ejected, but he may have been. Because Xavier is certainly one of our best defenders he's our he's our best defensive lineman by far he's senior three-year starter at least yeah they're still they're still talking I don't think there's been an ejection usually they give that uh well he, baseball call like the big thumb up and he's out of here but I haven't seen that well this has taken a very long time to sort this out And Horizon's coaches are not on the field anymore. They may have gotten their way with an ejection. And uh, I we'll, don't, I don't we'll think see. so. No, they would have said, they would have showed it. Okay, well, we've got a first and 10 now for Horizon. Shotgun formation. Here's the handoff. Really nice tackle. Number 55, who just went into the game, Ethan Jimenez. The new nose guard gets a big tackle right there at the line of scrimmage. No gain, second and 10. And that was on the run, Julio Jimenez, for the Scorpions. Yeah, they tried to pull, and Ethan just followed the line and cut the gap. And uh, Hector will actually like that play. His son really made a nice, strong tackle second, for no gain. That's right. Second down and 10 for Horizon. They'll send three receivers to the right side, one here on the left. The Horizon quarterback talking to his running back. They're taking a lot of time off the clock, too, by the way. Here's a quarterback, and he's set to run. And that looked like a clip. Yeah, that was a block in the back by number 21 for Horizon, Abraham Barasa, blocking one of our cornerbacks out of the way. Really was. I mean, the quarterback dipped in, and then when he dipped out, their lineman had to come back, and he, he hit our guy in the back. Did they call it, did they call it a hold or a block in the back? I haven't seen the call yet. I, uh, I didn't see what he I did. I think it was a hold. But, That's what uh, they call. You know, pretty good defense again. We were in good sh uh, Yeah, I think the Horizon quarterback's pretty good. He does a nice job with the ball. Yeah, it's a holding. So it's 10 yards. Instead of a block in the back, it's a hold. And it's second and 20 for Horizon. You know, they didn't they overcome a, a second and uh, 20 earlier on this drive? I don't know. I don't really care. Or was that on the previous drive? Okay. So here we go, second down and 20 for Horizon. Ball is back in their territory at the 45-yard line. Yeah, I think their plan is to run the clock. Yep. Two receivers on the left, two on the right. Here's Horizon looking to throw and pressure on the quarterback. He gets away, 
and they throw it away out of bounds down the right sideline. Smart play by the quarterback. He was under a lot of pressure. And the quarterback, uh, Robert Rodriguez, does look pretty elusive. Uh, we had a little bit of a hard time getting to him to make the tackle. But, uh, you know, he is, he is a good – he's a pretty mobile quarterback, it looks like. Yeah, I don't think he's super fast, but he does a nice job of juking and, and making yeah. a move. And we've missed him a couple of times. Yep. So now – Darren, we've got, we need to hold them two downs here. Third and 20 for Horizon. 2.04 left in the first quarter. There's no score in the ball game. Now they're running the clock down under 10 seconds every time, and they may not even get this playoff. Well, they've certainly dominated time of possession here in this first quarter. That, that should have been delay of game. Third and 20, and they're going to, well, they missed the sack. Now the quarterback will throw it downfield, and it's incomplete. Wow, I tell you, we came just inches close to sacking the quarterback and could not get to him. Yeah, and I, I think it could have been even offensive pass interference because uh, they were both standing, and when he threw it deep, their receiver really tried to, to swing off of our guy and get downfield quicker. But, you know, nice job by our defense that time, stepping up and getting a stop. Fourth down and 20, it looks like they're going to punt, and it's Carlos Marquez, a senior, the punter, for Clint Horizon. They've got a receiver on each side, but uh, of course this is punt formation. High snap, but the punter gets it away and it's a fairly short punt with the win, but it's gonna get a wow. tremendous Clint roll all the way down inside the 10 yard line to the eight and a tremendous punt with that roll, 47 yards. And uh, with that wind behind them, Darrell out, of, I mean, Darren out of the south, southeast. Well, it. Man, when it hit, it just shot down the field. I mean, it took right. off. It must have hit just right. But uh, we're, we're, man, they flipped the field because we started what last drive on about the 30, 35, and yeah. now we're, we're down around our what seven yard line? Yeah, we're at about the eight yard line. That's where the nose of the ball is. First and ten for the Panthers. So we're 92 yards away from pay dirt on this drive. Shotgun for Marco Garcia, two receivers on each side, a man in motion. Here's the handoff, and this goes to Isaiah Velasquez. He's got a first down to the 30, 35, 40, and run out of bounds around the 47-yard line, maybe the 48, a tremendous run. That is a 40-yard gain. Outstanding play brought to you by m &J Trucking Company, and it's a Rainwater Motor Company first down. I see no flags, and that is a big 40-yard gain for Isaiah. Really was. They had a guy that got in very quickly. I thought he might have almost been off sides, and when he didn't get the tackle, uh, I tell you, he was off to the races. Well, that puts us right back in striking distance here at uh, near midfield. Here's the flip, and that goes to Fabian Silva. Silva showing his speed down to the 36-yard line. That is another first and 10. Brought to you by Rainwater Motor Company, and that's going to be about a 15-yard gain for Silva. An outstanding play brought to you by M&J Trucking Company. Number eight, tackled by number eight on that play. Joshua Munoz for Clint with uh, the tackle, and that's Clint Horizon. All right, here's a handoff. Goes to Isaiah, and he's finding an opening right up the middle of the field. He's down to the 15-yard line. And all of a sudden, this Panther running game showing a lot of explosiveness. That's a 22-yard gain. First down and 10 to the 15-yard line for the Panthers. And Velasquez, another great run. Well, we're going in the hurry up. We're trying to get the ball snapped quickly. Rainwater Motor Company first down. Here's the handoff again to Isaiah. Right up the middle, down to the four-yard line. Isaiah lunges to the four. That's another Rainwater Motor Company, this time a first and goal. And it's another m j Trucking Company outstanding play right up the middle for a big first down. Boy, Isaiah has run the ball tremendously on this drive. Well, they were playing us wide, and now we're just going right up the middle, and there's some big holes. All right, here's uh, Marco in the shotgun. He is uh, going to be looking for somebody in the end zone, can't find anybody. He rolls out to the right, run out of bounds for a loss on the play, back to about the nine-yard line. You know, that, that hurt. Uh, I think maybe just dump it and, and don't take the, the, the loss right yeah. there. But they were ready for that play. They had a blitz come in. and uh, A loss of five, right? Really was, loss of five yards. Second down and goal at the nine-yard line for the Panthers. And uh, here in the red zone, by the way, and, and our red zone is brought to you by M&J Fast Lube. 
Darren, uh, we've had some trouble in the red zone tonight. Yeah, we've been in the red zone twice and kind of gone backwards. So here we are with the second in goal. It was at the four, now at the nine. Marco in the shotgun. He will hand it off to Isaiah, and Isaiah is tackled right at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Third down and goal from the nine. Well, they're bringing a guy off the end, and he's beating our back to the line of scrimmage. He's just shooting across, and I don't think we're going to snap the ball again. We're going to come up with a big play. Okay, we'll take it to the end of the first period, and it is 0-0. That's your uh, Little Regina Trucking game score update. We'll be back in just a moment. Once upon a time, a person's banker knew them by name. They saw their banker as a partner, a resource, and even a friend. Bankers used to do more than hold your money and process your checks. Bankers used to help you build your dreams. At First National Bank of Fort Stockton, we offer you that kind of banking again. For buying, building, or remodeling a home, for commercial banking, for personal banking from your first checking account to the last bank you will ever need. The First National Bank of Fort Stockton, member FDIC, equal housing lender. NMLS number 410651. America can depend on Farmers Insurance Agent Adelina Salazar to provide you with low-cost insurance coverage in all areas of your life. Farmers can provide auto, home, life, health insurance, and much more. Farmers Insurance Agent Adelina Salazar also writes commercial property insurance policies for liability, fire and casualty, and more. Contact your West Texas Farmers Insurance Agent Adelina Salazar today next to the post office at 104 East 4th. Call 336-5311. All right, we're back with more Panther football, and we begin now the second quarter with no score in the ball game. Fort Stockton does have a third down and goal now from the nine-yard line. We had it down to the four, but then we've been backed up. Uh, we lost yardage when Marco ran out of bounds uh, and did not pass the ball. So then uh, we ran the ball once and for no gain. So we have you know, struggled in the red zone tonight. I would follow Julian Leva, our left tackle, right to the end zone because I think they're bringing guys out wide and they're collapsing inside. I think we could run off that left tackle and get in. Well, they're certainly run blitzing their linebackers, and it's third down and goal from the nine. We've got two running backs in the backfield, two receivers on the right, one on the left. Here's Marco. Fakes the handoff. No, it's not Marco. That is number 15, Cash Norman. And Cash Norman faked the handoff and had a great run right up the middle. I tell you, Horizon bit on that, Darren, and uh, Cash was wide open up the middle for a great touchdown run. Well, I like that play because, you know, one, Cash is a tough runner, and number two, you know, he's able to follow the running back, and then the first guy that's going to tackle gets hit by the running back, and Cash really went untouched into the end zone. Well, he faked the handoff and then took it himself right up the middle. Beautiful touchdown run brought to you by Triple R Welding. That's our touchdown sponsor tonight, and here's the kick, and it is up and good. That's a Triple R Welding PAT by Diego Ramos. We'll be back with more Panther football. The new score brought to you by... Little Regina Trucking, 7 0 Panthers, back in a moment. Hernandez Sanitation in Fort Stockton proudly serves a large portion of West Texas with sanitation services, including the oil field. For portable toilets, holding tanks, septic tank service, grease trap service, or large roll off trash containers, contact Hernandez Sanitation today by calling owner and operator Joe Angel Hernandez at 432 336 3803. Hernandez Sanitation, a proud member of the Fort Stockton community, always supporting all the athletic and extracurricular activities in Fort Stockton schools. Your dreams are what power our community. When it comes to buying a home, starting a business, or tools to help with everyday money management, Citibank is a proud community leader for your financial needs. From personal checking and lending solutions to mobile banking and a suite of business services, our goal is to help you achieve yours. Citibank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. All right, we're back here on KFST. And uh, looks like we have a different kickoff guy for the Panthers. And uh, the kick went down to the taken at the nine yard line with the wind. And then uh, looks like about a 30 yard return to the 31 yard line. And it will be a first and 10 for the Clint Horizon Scorpions who now trail the Panthers seven to nothing. And uh, our game score update brought to you by Little Regina Trucking. 
But, Darren, it's interesting. I don't know for sure if uh, we've had an ejection on Xavier Dominguez or he's just not playing due to the personal foul. I don't think he was up with his helmet on for the kickoff, and I, you wouldn't put your helmet on if you were ejected. It's back off now, but he's coming back in. All They're right. talking to him. We've got first down and 10 ball at the 31-yard line with Clint Horizon now in the shotgun. Two receivers, three receivers on the right, one on the left. And the handoff. Oh, it's a dropped ball. The quarterback covers it up way back at the 23-yard line. That'll be a loss of eight yards, I believe. And it'll bring up a second and 18, a fumble by the quarterback and recovered by the quarterback. Yeah, he just dropped it. He had it, and then he took off, and he dropped it. Hey, Vernon is playing Lakeview. They're up 14 to nothing. Hmm. And we've got Sweetwater leading Pecos 7 to nothing. Monahan's over Big Springs 14 to 8. A little closer than I thought. All right, second down and eight yards to go for the Horizon Scorpions after that fumble recovered by their quarterback. And here's the quarterback now up under center. And he's back to throw, fakes the throw, and a handoff, a delayed handoff, Darren, and the Panthers read it beautifully for no gain on the play. It'll be third and 18 now. That was really another nice tackle by Ethan Jimenez at the playing nose guard for the Panthers. Did a good job getting inside. It was a draw play, and, and he wasn't fooled. We've great, got uh, yeah, great tackle. We've got Andrews over Greenwood, 21 to nothing. Wow. I kind of I'm pretty happy with that. Actually. Yeah, me, me, me too. Third down, 18 to go now for Horizon after no gain on that play. Two backs in the backfield flanking the quarterback on either side and a running back, excuse me, a receiver on the left, two on the right. Here's the handoff and another great wow. play. My goodness, uh, what a tackle by number 14, Ryland Nunez. He was the first. There was another guy in on it. I didn't get the number. 33. Uh, 30, 33. That would be uh, EJ Ortiz. So a great tackle by those two defenders for the Panthers. I mean, and a physical tackle. Yes. It's uh, you know, fourth I, down and 17. You know, I, I think they're just trying to run the clock and keep the clock going right now because that play wasn't going to go anywhere on third and long. All right, here we go with fourth and 17, a punting situation for Horizon. High snap again. Here come the Panthers trying to block it. Bad, bad punt. He shanked that punt, Darren, and that's going to go out of bounds deep in Horizon territory, and that will be marked out at around the 27 or 28-yard line. So, man, that punt goes five or six yards, and that's it, yeah, four it yards. It should have gone back further. It, that's where it ended up. It went out of bounds <laughs> before the 28, but I'll take it. I'll take that. All right, so Fort Stockton will have great field position the best starting field position we've had it probably except for the time we intercepted the ball. Yeah, I think, yeah. So first and 10 for the Panthers at the Horizon 28 yard line. Darren, we certainly found some things in our running game on the last drive. Let's see if we can do it again here. Well, now I think Corbin Luna's in. I don't yes. know if he's played that much. Yeah, Corbin is in and he will have the fake handoff. There's a pass and it is caught. Beautiful catch and wow. a beautiful pass. Fabian Silva catches the ball at the five yard line and that was a very difficult catch. Well, and uh, from the 28 all the way to the five, 23 yards, Rainwater Motor Company first in goal and an M&J Trucking Company outstanding play. Well, it was a good pass and a great catch. First in goal, here's the handoff to Corbin Luna and Corbin is into the end zone, touchdown. Five yard touchdown run by Corbin Luna. Darren, two plays on that drive, uh, and that was a tremendous drive by the Panthers to lead now 13 to nothing. That is a triple R welding Panther touchdown. Well, I like the play calling. You know, you get you get a quick uh, short punt, and then you go for the throw. And I tell you, that was a nice throw downfield and then a great run. Diego Ramos to kick the extra point for the Panthers. 9.06 to go, second quarter. And here's the hold and the kick. It looks good. It is. That's a Triple R welding PAT. The Panthers lead 14 to nothing. And that's your Little Regina Trucking Game Score update. We'll be back in a moment. Every day is a party day at RNK Rentals. They furnish party supplies like jumping balloons and water slides. They offer cotton candy, popcorn, snow cone, and hot dog machines for rent. 
and they even have pinatas for sale. They also rent tables and chairs for any occasion. Call them today. That's R&K Rentals at 432-250-9611. Attention Fort Stockton, the following announcement from K-Bob Steakhouse is good for you, your families, and especially good for your wallet. From now till the end of this year, K-Bob Steakhouse is offering a 10% discount on all orders when you place your order to go online. That's right, order at k-bobs.com slash online order and pick up your order at the drive through window and get a 10% discount. This special discount good through the end of this year. The discount does not apply to in-store dining. K-Bob Steakhouse 2800 West Dickinson. All right, uh, that time Villarreal kicks off for the Fort Stockton Panthers. And uh, goes down to the 10 yard line, returned up to the 30, about a 20 yard return for Clint Horizon. Yeah, number 18 on the tackle, Luis Ramos. Great, great hit. I tell you, he really, he really was a solid tackle, drove him back. Well, the Panthers are now leading over. Clint Horizon 14 to nothing, and we've got 8.59 remaining in the first half. Horizon, I think this is a pretty key drive right here. They really need to answer if they're wanting to stay in this ball game. Well, I, I think they're more interested in running time off the clock and playing conservative, but we'll find out. All right, it is first and 10, ball at the 30 yard line. Three receivers on the left, one on the right. Quarterback rolling out to his right, and he's going to be stopped for a loss on the play. Randy Sandoval, man, he, we have called his name a number of times here tonight. And uh, Randy Sandoval with a great tackle on the scrambling quarterback for a loss of three, second and 13. Well, he had the interception on the first drive. And that time, you know what? He played the quarterback perfectly. The quarterback stopped and he just held position. And then when he took off, he just drove him into the ground. So really a textbook way to play a scrambling quarterback. Second down, 13. That was a great tackle. He did not let him get away that time. All right, here's uh, Clint Horizon in the shotgun again with a single running back. Rodriguez, the quarterback. And it is Jimenez, the running back. Four wide receivers. Here's the quarterback to throw. It is too low for the running back out of the backfield. And that's an incomplete pass. It'll bring up third down and 13. That was a terrible throw. Yeah, it was down. I mean, it, it was, it was a short pass, and it, yep. it was short, short, and it was wobbling. And, uh, you know, I was able to check some email while I was waiting for it to get there. <laughs> that's, that's when you know it's bad. <laughs> anyway. Okay, third down and 13. And uh, Horizon working into the win. The Panthers have scored a couple of touchdowns here in the second quarter. It is now third and 13. Here's Horizon in the shotgun. Quarterback uh, evading the pressure. And boy, uh, the Panthers were just all over the quarterback. And, uh, you know, just, just ran him out of bounds, but they were inches away from sacking him again. And it's fourth down and 13. That's another great defensive stand by this Panther defense. Yeah, I think we had three fast guys on the defensive line and they were spread out. They were coming from wide and just daring them to go up the middle and there was no place to go. Everyone was covered and uh, we ought to block this punt. These snaps are terrible. They're, the, the snaps are higher than the punt. Okay, it's fourth and 13. They're punting into the wind again. And that's a high snap again. And that is a, a little bit better punt, but not much. It takes a Fort Stockton roll up back to the 38 yard line. And that's gonna wind up being about an 11 or 12 yard punt. That's about it. So great roll for the Panthers that time. Yes, he had a great roll earlier, but it only rolls one way and it's with the wind. Yeah. So it came back that time and we're gonna be at the 39 to start this drive. Yeah, another great uh, field position drive here for Fort Stockton. Let me, let me do the little Regina trucking game score update. Go ahead. Fort Stockton is winning 14 to nothing with 749 left in the half. I guess you can do that some in the future as well. I, 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 you did a good I'm, job there. I've been trying to you know, get yeah. a little more responsibility other than <laughs> just Okay, here, here we go, first and 10 <laughs> for the Panthers at the Horizon 39-yard line. Everybody is in tight here except for one wide receiver out here on the left side. And, man, we had some blockers. There is a, what, is that a delay of game? No, I think they called us. Well, maybe they I did. I think they I called know. a delay of game on the Panthers. It'll be first and 15. 
Well, I, I don't like that. I was still talking. Look at this formation. Very interesting. Two flankers there. Uh, uh, there's a keep up the middle by Marco Garcia. And he does a juke on the defender. And then he scores a touchdown. But there's a flag thrown. Ah, and this may be coming back. We'll see on maybe a block, an illegal block on the Panthers with Marco running downfield freely. Holding on Fort Stockton. So I, I disagree. I saw the block all the way. The, the guy just stayed on his block all the way, pushed him to the ground and jumped on him. And I just watched the replay. I think it was a good block. Okay, so Marco's run largely erased. And that was a spot foul, so it will wind it will wind up being uh, is it first and six or second and six? Should be should first. be first and six. All yeah. right, so we get a net yardage of four yards on that play, Ooh. but Marco had a great run. It was a great call too. Yeah, touchdown call back. All right, first down and six. What a great juke also by Marco, and here's Marco keeping the ball after the fake to Isaiah. And Marco is knocked backwards after it looks like he may have gained first down yardage to the 29. I think he's just a little short. Maybe so. It's close. Just, just inches short of the first down. We're going to have a second in inches here. Ball near the 29 yard line. I thought to the end zone right here. Two really nice runs by Marco on this drive. Unfortunately, one of them was negated by, uh, you know, a, a holding penalty on the Panthers. We had two guys blocking the only guy back there. I, just, I don't like it. Two receivers on each side. Marco in the shotgun. Second in inches for the Panthers. Marco back to throw. And that's a wide open receiver. Oh. Cash Norman just can't bring it in. It was uh, thrown over his right shoulder. And uh, I tell you, Cash came close, but it, and it was a good pass. Laid in there nicely, but Cash just couldn't come away with it. So that's a great call on second and short. Now it's third and short. Yeah, that's Zane's number 15. I'm going to have to, he'll be unhappy with Cash uh, disrespecting his number like that. <laughs> third down in inches. Isaiah Velasquez in the backfield along with Marco Garcia. And here's the handoff to Isaiah. No, it's a fake. Marco keeps the ball. He's got a first down, runs out of bounds. Right around the 27 yard line, pick up a two yards and that's a Rainwater Motor Company first down. That's all we needed. Yeah, you want to make the first down and, and you know, I think it's a nice job of pulling the ball out. Make sure you get the first down here because we've had a little bit of trouble once we've got inside the 30. First down and 10 Panthers at the horizon, 27 yard line, 642 remaining in this first half. Our little Regina trucking game score update, 14 to nothing Panthers. Marco in the shotgun, Isaiah his running back, Isaiah Velasquez, three receivers on the left, one on the right. Marco fakes the handoff. Marco takes it around the left side. He's got a first down inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. Really a nice run again by Marco. He pulled it. Everyone goes with the running back. He, the running back's going one direction, Marco the other. It is a great run. A uh, great read as well by Marco. So that's a 13-yard gain. A Rainwater Motor Company first down, and m &J Trucking Company outstanding play. Ball at the 14 of Horizon, and we're in the red zone, and that's brought to you by m &J Fast Loop. Marco now in the shotgun. Two receivers on the right, two on the left. And here's the fake handoff. Pass complete into the left flat, and that is a touchdown wow. to Fabian Silva. Fabian Silva goes in from 14 yards out, a touchdown pass for Marco Garcia into the left flat, and then Silva just broke tackles and evaded those defenders and scored the touchdown. You know, Silva's already got a great catch over the middle, and I tell you, he danced around two or three tacklers to get into the end zone. What a nice play. That is a Triple R welding touchdown. Brought to you by Triple R welding. And then Fabian Silva, of course, scored another touchdown here for the Panthers. Oh, there's a bad uh, hold there. And uh, 
Horizon will recover it, so we fail on the extra point. 20 to nothing, Fort Stockton. That's your little Regina Trucking game score update. We'll be back in just a moment. Lowe's Market is your hometown grocery store serving our area for many years, offering USDA certified meats, fresh produce, groceries, frozen foods, and bakery items made fresh. They also support our schools with a register tapes for education program, where you can turn in your Lowe's receipts to the schools for much needed educational equipment. Lowe's Market, 1300 West Dickinson in Fort Stockton, always supporting Fort Stockton schools. If you or your spouse have been thinking about pre-planning your funerals, Heritage Funeral Home of the Big Ben has some very important news. Now is the best time to plan for your eternity and take the financial burden off your loved ones. If you already have a plan, let them review it with you. At Heritage Funeral Home of the Big Ben, they'll work with you so that your final requests are personalized just for you. Call or come by today at 301 North Main or message them on Facebook. All right, Aiden Villarreal kicks it off for the Panthers, taken around the 12-yard line and returned up to about the 32. Another 30-yard return there for Clint Horizon. One of the better parts of their game tonight has been their return game. Beck got a pretty good return game, yeah. It's up to the 32. It's first down and 10 at the 32, and they have the wind in their face for the rest of this first half. There's 5.53 remaining second quarter. Our game score update brought to you by Little Regina Trucking, 20 to nothing, Fort Stockton leading. I think the worst part of their game is punting into the wind. <laughs> yeah. They're netting like three yards. All right, first and 10 for Horizon. They will hand it off, and Fort Stockton will stop the running back, but he got forward progress for two yards. <laughs> Fort Stockton, uh, E.J. Ortiz comes away with the football, says, this is mine. I took it away from him, but yes. I, they had already ruled forward progress, uh, stopped at the 34-yard line. Yep, nice job by E.J. Second down and eight yards to go for Horizon now. They've got two running backs in the backfield, shotgun formation, one receiver on each side. The Panthers now leading by 20 points here, 20 to nothing. And here's the snap, and it's no, it's uh, not a handoff. It's kept by the quarterback. A great defensive play again by Fort Stockton. Number 30 got him again, Randy Sandoval. He, he has uh, really made two outstanding tackles on a scrambling quarterback. That's a two yard loss, third and nine. Well, he was being blocked and a great job. We had pursuit coming behind the quarterback and just ran him in and Sandoval held his ground and made the tackle. It's a one yard loss, so it's third down and nine. It's a sack. But he sacked well, the quarterback. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. 435 left to go in this first half. Panther Band is down there getting ready for the halftime show. We'll uh, broadcast that at halftime and listen to them. They looked great last week. Are we gonna do both bands? The Horizon Band doesn't look like it's here. There's a really nice uh, blitz by Fort Stockton, a corner blitz. And number 18, Luis Ramos, came from the right corner. And uh-oh, the quarterback may be down for Horizon. We've got an injury timeout. But a great defensive play. We'll be back in just a moment. Need a quick, efficient oil change? MJ Fast Lube at 116 West Dickinson is here to serve you. Martine and Julia Ibarra invite you to stop by. They have great service and they offer auto oil and lube services with the top major oil brands. They also offer state inspections and vehicle washing and cleaning. Or you can get your vehicle completely detailed. It'll look like you just bought it. That's him and Jay Fastly, 116 West Dickinson, supporting Panther and Prowler Sports. Go Blue! Weiss Tire Incorporated is your family-owned and operated tire store serving Fort Stockton in West Texas for over 35 years with a friendly staff and unparalleled customer service. They're your authorized Firestone and Bridgestone tire dealer, but offer many brands most in stock. They offer speedy repair and tire installation with wheel balancing and alignment along with rotations. They can also do brake jobs and other minor auto repair. Go by Weiss Tire today at 701 West Dickinson in Fort Stockton or call 432-336-3314. Well, we certainly hope that uh, the quarterback for Horizon is okay. Robert Rodriguez uh, did go off the field. Of course, it's uh, punt formation now for Horizon on a fourth and 14. 
But the quarterback did get hit from behind on a corner blitz, a great tackle by Luis Ramos of the Panthers. And it's a fourth and uh, 14, Darren. Let's block this high snap punt. There's another high snap and a quick kick. He did get a, a little bit better punt this time. Got a sideways roll, didn't get much. So goes out of bounds around the 49 yard line. And that's where the Panthers will take over in Clint Horizon territory. And Darren with 351 remaining in the first half, plenty of time to punch another one in. Let's punch in another one. I got a few scores you want in. Yeah, yeah, let's hear them. We've got uh, Borger over Lamisa 7 to 6. We've got Roosevelt over Brownfield 16-14. Dumas over Perryton 13 to 7. We've got Pampa leading Caprock 7 to nothing. Vernon over Lakeview 28 to nothing. Wow. Okay, first and 10. Ball at the 49-yard line. I remember back when we played Vernon in a uh, what it was an area round game, I think. We did. They used to be good. First down 10, 49, here's the fake handoff, and Marco will now uh, dance around one of our players, and we were blocking on the play, trying to keep them out of the backfield, and Marco had to try to dance around one of our players, and he got caught for a loss of about a yard, so it'll be second and 11 at the 50-yard line. They didn't fall for that. I, I'm, I'm gonna call it right here. I'm gonna find number eight, and I'm gonna throw it to him. Three receivers on the right, one on the left. Not only is Fabian a great Fabian a great wide receiver, he's a great singer. <laughs> Second and 11. Here's the handoff. Corbin Luna. He's got a first down run. That is going to be 12 yards for Corbin Luna and a Rainwater Motor Company first down. And Corbin just kept dancing through the middle and a great run. Outstanding play brought to you by MJ Trucking Company. I thought he was bullying, not dancing. First down and 10, ball at the 38-yard line of Horizon. Still lots of time to punch in another score here. Two receivers on each side. Marco, he will hand it off to Corbin Luna. Corbin will have about two yards to the 36-yard line. It'll set up a second and eight. Yeah, it kind of ran into the back of one of our blockers, and that just stopped all the momentum. I think if he could have cut it a little bit to the right, he had an opening. And we've got two and a half minutes now left in the first half. Our game score update brought to you by Little Regina Trucking, 20 to nothing, Fort Stockton leading. And we have Marco in the shotgun, Corbin behind him, two receivers on each side. And Marco fakes the handoff, takes it around the right, and completes the pass to Cash Norman. And Norman continues going up the sideline. He didn't want to run out of bounds. He knocked a couple of Horizon guys down as he uh, caught the pass and then bull forward for another five yards. And that's a first and 10 for the Panthers at the Horizon 22 yard line, I believe. It's a Rainwater Motor Company first down and we're close to the red zone. We got a flag down on the field. Uh, we've got a flag. Well, we may have had a lineman downfield. We did. In ineligible lineman downfield on the Panthers. So we'll have to replay this down, I'm assuming. That was a great catch you know, and run there by Cash Norman. Really was. Unfortunate that that's wiped out. Wiped out. Well, I believe it was what? Before that play, it was second and nine. So yeah, they've got the spot right. Second down and 14 now, I think. Well, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Now, now they're marking it off. Okay, we may have gained a yard on that. Second and 13. I thought it was, wasn't it second and nine before? Yeah, whatever. I don't really pay attention. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, trucking. Marco playing really outstanding tonight. Yeah, El Paso or Clint Horizon playing man-to-man. -man. They never saw him take off. First and 10, ball at the 25. Marco will hand the ball off. Corbin Luna, and he will really stiff arm a guy and he's all the way down to the 15 yard line close to a first down I think he's got it 10 yard gain first and 10 Panthers and we're in the red zone brought to you by M&J Fast Lube. yes I like that you know it well he stiff armed the guy and, and that's the reason he couldn't tackle him really I know he had a guy came up had a chance to make a tackle Got around him, and then he stiffed Army guy and got well, upfield. We're not quite at the first down. It's second in inches near the 15. And Marco in the shotgun will hand it off to Corbin. Corbin right up the middle. 
and he's all the way down to the three yard line. That'll be a gain of 13 yards and a Rainwater Motor Company first and goal. The Panthers ready to punch it in again before halftime. Let's punch one in. But we can't see the light show very good in the first half. No, that's true. A minute and 10 seconds and counting down in this uh, first half. We should call this Area 51. Little Regina Trucking game score update 20 to nothing. And the Panthers threatening to add to the lead over Class 5A Division I Clint Horizon. Let's do that music. Dun, 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 and play the and do the lights. What do you think? Here's Marco handing it off to Corbin. Corbin is in the end zone for the touchdown. Three yards out. And it's a three-yard touchdown run by Corbin Luna. And that's a triple R welding touchdown for the Panthers. 44 seconds left in the first half. Maybe one of our cheerleaders or mascot, they're hoping that they don't have to be do push-ups for each point. You better hope that, you know, my limit's usually about three. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this extra point this time, Darren. We have, uh, excuse me, Diego Ramos to kick it. And it is good. That's a triple R welding PAT. The Panthers leading 27 to nothing over Horizon. We'll be back in a moment. Julie's Easy Press Cleaners is ready to serve you with all your laundry cleaning needs. From drop off to pick up, you'll enjoy not having to do the washing, drying, or pressing. It's done for you. Whether it's a party, office meeting, or lunch with friends, show up dressed for success. Because at Julie's Easy Press, they know when you look good, you feel good. Julie's Easy Press, 1101 North Front Street, or call 336-6601. Alamo Tire and Auto Repair, now in their new location at 2709 West Dickinson, offers a new and unique $5 club. A low monthly membership includes so many advantages on repairing your vehicle, like a 25% discount on the postage shop hourly rate, a 12-month or 12,000-mile warranty on parts and labor on most repairs, and many services for just $5 and other services for free. Check out the $5 Club today at www.pay5dollars.com at Alamo Tire and Auto Repair, 2709 West Dickinson. All right, Aiden Villarreal kicks it off for the Panthers. That ball was angled toward the right sideline. However, it stayed in bounds and it went out in the end zone. That time, uh, Horizon did not return the ball. They might have been expecting that it was going to go out of bounds, but it did not. So it's a touchback and uh, Horizon will take over at their own 25 yard line. I'd use all three of our timeouts and try to score again. First what do you down, think? Uh, maybe. First try to and block 10. the punt? Yeah. You know, they're such terrible snappers. First down and 10 at the 25 for Horizon. New quarterback in the game, I believe. And that is number 10, uh, Mario Martinez. A gain of one on the play, it'll be second and nine. New quarterback is Robert Rodriguez, you know, went out after being hit from behind on a quarterback sack by the Panthers. Uh, not a dirty play at all, but he was just kind of hit from behind and he was injured a bit. Oh, it was a great tackle by number 18. Yeah. All with the sack, Luis Ramos made a great play. So second and nine for Horizon, and they're not in any hurry whatsoever. Well, they're not going to snap it. It's they, over. They want, they want to go to the locker room. I want something to eat. <laughs> well, we've got K-Bobs to thank for that. They provided our food tonight. All right, that's going to be the end of the first half. Our halftime score brought to you by Little Regina Trucking Company is 27 to nothing, Fort Stockton leading over Class 5A Division I Clint Horizon. And we're at halftime. We'll be back in a moment. Looking for home cooking away from home? Sagebrush Cafe at 2003 West Dickinson is your answer. Mondays, try their chicken fried steak special for only $6.99. Tuesdays, it's the specialty burger and fries and wing special Wednesday. They serve the best breakfast around and they serve it all day long. Sagebrush Cafe offers many other menu items like catfish, salads, and Mexican food also. Sagebrush Cafe, 2003 West Dickinson for home cooked food away from home. M&J Trucking in Fort Stockton is proud to be a sponsor of Panther and Prowler Sports. M&J Trucking offers 24 hour a day, seven day a week service. 
Call today for information at 336 First, They will be glad to put together a free estimate on just about any remodeling project, always keeping in mind your budget. They also can help with ideas and designs for your project to upgrade your home and add to its value. They also have all types of the latest and most modern flooring, including carpet, tile, hardwood, laminates, custom cabinetry, countertops, and much more. Call Designer Carpets and Interiors today at 336-6591. Pepito's Cafe in Fort Stockton is known for its consistently delicious American and Mexican food and its great service. Pepito's is open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Come by and sample all the new plates on the menu. They've also added more seating to accommodate all their great customers. From Mexican food to burgers and a wide variety of American food, make it Pepito's Cafe. Also with the drive through window for your convenience. Pepito's, 2014 West Dickinson. Call for orders to go, 336-2882. Permian Basin Abstract Company is located at 600 West Dickinson and is available to handle all your real estate closings. They have a full-service title company and are experts at handling all the tricky parts of title work. Great customer service is their number one goal with local manager Penny McKnight. Permian Basin Abstract has locations in Andrews, Seminole, Pecos, and the local office in Fort Stockton to serve all area West Texas counties and have all records available. Call 432-336-3301 or go by Permian Basin Abstract, corner of Monahan's Highway and Dickinson Boulevard. Cactus Health is your one-stop health care facility. They care offering quality health care for you and your family, including health education, hearing screenings, adult and children immunizations, minor x-rays, postpartum care, OB care, prenatal services, men's and women's health, and lab services. Cactus Health, located at 700 North Main Street, call 336-8110 for information and appointments. Triple R Welding, located at 2215 West 9th, is here for all your residential, commercial, or oil field needs. From roustabout, hotshot, and certified welding to building and installing your own personalized one-of-a-kind fence and entrance. Bring them your ideas and they can make it happen. Call 336-5289. Triple R Welding. They can weld anything except a broken heart and the crack of dawn. Visit them today at 2215 West 9th Street or call 336-5289. The Guadalajara Mexican Grill in Fort Stockton features authentic Jalisco-style Mexican food with friendly and fast service. They're open starting at 8 a.m. for breakfast daily until 9.30 each night, Tuesday through Thursday, and until 10 p.m. Friday through Sunday. They also feature delicious Mexican desserts, along with beer, pina coladas, margaritas, and micheladas, with great specials every day. The Guadalajara Mexican Grill at 200 East 19th in Fort Stockton on the Imperial Highway. Stockton Glass and Mirror is locally owned and operated and welcomes you to give them a call for a free estimate on any job. They're your premier commercial and residential glass installation company, proudly serving the trans Pecos and Big Bend for more than 30 years. Stockton Glass and Mirror offers quality glass products professionally installed, along with broken glass repair, shower enclosures, and much more. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to noon and 1 to 5. Call 336-3152 or go by 202 East 5th Street. Stockton Glass and Mirror, Glass West of the Pecos. All right, we are back with the pride of Pantherland Band. So let's listen in, Darren. This pathway consists of where you've been, where you are, and where you are going.
Uh, Darren, the pride of Pantheland Band, doing a great job, sounding great, looking great. Yeah, I love those drums, and uh, I see Miss Fort Stockton, Audrey Mendoza, one of our drum major, leading the band. One of our drum majors, right? One of our drum majors. Yeah. Uh, one's a drum general, isn't it? And then one's a... How does that work? You were in band. No, do you have, like, general, major, captain, sergeant? Just a major. That's weird. Hmm. For high brass. Wow. Eric Gonzalez. Eric Gonzalez just uh, got the wins. weekly award, I think, for Tobias low brass. Stevenson. Didn't hear the other one. What is a low for brass? Percussion. Is that somebody that's short Brandy that plays on a, like a trombone or something? That would be trombone, baritone, tuba. Aviano Those Marcus. are low brass. Those are low brass. What's high brass? Do you have a middle brass? Trumpet. Four. You have a middle Five. brass? Uh, I guess you could classify maybe a French horn as middle brass. And for Rody, yeah. Andrew Morales. French, French horn. Section of the week. That's no, I think he's making stuff. Alto Texas. We got some awards they're giving out, I think. Yes, yes. Here we go with the fight song. Well, we're winning not only the game, but the halftime show as well, Darren. Well, you know. Here's what I don't like. Look, we're playing the fight song. The official has come out and thrown a yellow flag and is throwing our band out. You <laughs> cannot fight tonight. <laughs> wow, that's sad. You have to realize when Darren is joking, and that was a joke. You're just clowning around. I don't like it. Oh, thin ice, buddy. Hey, we want to let uh, everyone in the stands make sure you tune into the radio and not listen to Kyle Carr. And you'll have a more enjoyable game experience. <laughs> All right, a great job by the Pride of Pantherland Band tonight at halftime. We'll be back in a moment. We've got some scores coming up uh, at halftime right after these words. Porky's Ice House in Fort Stockton is the place to get your drinks and snacks in Fort Stockton with two convenient drive through lanes open seven days a week for teas, lemonades, and fountain drinks with added flavors upon request and much more. Go by Porky's Ice House and remember, happy hour is each day from 4 to 6 p.m. with all drinks any size for just a dollar. They also make popular Clamato, Squirt, Topo Chico, and Jerky Preparados that are delicious along with nachos. Porky's Ice House, 1401 West Dickinson in Fort Stockton. Done. Your local real estate professional is Angie Miles at Turnkey Realty, offering experienced, professional, knowledgeable, and friendly real estate consultation. Angie Miles has over 30 years of sales experience and serves the entire Trans-Pecos area, including Fort Stockton, Pecos, Alpine, and Southwest Texas. She can show any listing and can list your residential, commercial, or farm and ranch property and also offers property management services. For all your real estate needs, contact Angie Miles with Turnkey Realty, 804 North Main, or call 290-80. The Water Factory, located at 1005 North Butts in Fort Stockton, is your answer to premium drinking water and ice. For all your home or office cooler needs in Fort Stockton, it's the Water Factory. They have bottle and boat delivery of purified water, and they even offer custom labeling for small bottles. They've been your water conditioning professionals since 1985. Call the Water Factory today, 336-6434, or go by 1005 North Butts. That's the Water Factory, Fort Stockton. If you're needing personal attention to your medical needs, visit Salceda Urgent Care and Family Medicine in Fort Stockton at 703 North Main. They can help with life's little urgencies that cannot wait for an appointment. They provide urgent care, hormone optimization for men and women, vitamin supplements, family medicine, chronic care for all ages, including cholesterol treatment, blood pressure, diabetes, thyroid optimization, and treat many other conditions. Call for appointments 360-3029. Walk-ins are welcome at 703 North Main. 
Are you sick and tired of inflation driving up the price on virtually everything? At CTJ Express Oil Change, we have mastered the art of inflation-proof, lightning-fast oil changes. We tell inflation to take a hike with our happy hour discounts every weekday, 11 to 1 p.m., and our service appreciation discounts for local teachers, military, first responders, and correction officers. We're fast, too, saving you time and money. And remember, at CTJ Express, we are the best for the most dependable place to get your state inspection. Come stay with us at CTJ Express in Fort Stockton. Concept Inc. is here to help you with all your oil field and residential needs. They provide licensed septic system installations, site evaluations, roll-off container rentals, and porta potty rentals, septic tank, and grease trap pump outs. Backhoe services and general construction also available. Contact Kobe Tarasas at 432-290-3620. That phone number again is 432-290-3620. Concept Inc. Are your insurance rates too high? At Fort Stockton Insurance, you're not stuck. We can shop within our own carriers to find the best deals. Do you know that we do more than property and auto? We do life, commercial, farm, and specialty insurance. Do you want to run on the field with the Baylor Bears? Have an Aerolite plane or a vintage vehicle? We insure all of that. Need a bond or commercial insurance? We can help you there too. This is Pam at Fort Stockton Insurance. We're located at 901 West Dickinson or give us a call at 336-8565. Glitzy Trends and the Glitzy Brew Coffee Shop is located at 1101 West Dickinson in Fort Stockton. Open Tuesday through Saturday. They offer delicious coffee, tea, smoothies, hot chocolate, fresh pastries, and desserts. Come down for Bingo and Loteria on Thursdays at 7 p.m. And Saturday's Glitzy Trends has all-day games like darts, indoor cornhole, Jenga, checkers, chess, and board games. Come by Glitzy Trends and Glitzy Brew today, 1101 West Dickinson. Fort Stockton ISD Public Schools shape the future by providing the best possible education for our students. Hello, this is Dr. Gabe Zamora, Superintendent. Together we are ensuring that the future of our community, state, and nation is bright. Fort Stockton ISD is committed to bettering the future for all members of our school community. We are extremely proud of all our students and their accomplishments. For this reason, we are pleased to sponsor Fort Stockton High School Sports Broadcast for those unable to attend. Go Panthers and Prowlers! Make this the summer sales event at Ram Country Fort Stockton. Low interest rates and big cash back. You choose how to save. Buy a 2023 Ram 1500 2.9 for 72 months or get up to $5,000 in total cash allowance. Plus get free warranty forever and exclusive offer from the Corey Group family of dealerships. You can expect a better buying experience. This is Ram Country. Begin your journey in a Chrysler Dodge Jeep or Ram at RamCountryFortStockton.com. Go by 2603 West Dickinson or call 360-1050. All right, we're back at halftime. Right here we have a 27 to nothing score. Uh, Fort Stockton over the Clint Horizon Scorpions. And, uh, you know, the zero's not even on the board over there. It's just 27 to blank. Well, when you punt that poorly, you don't even get a light bulb. You, don't <laughs> you have to earn a light bulb okay, on our right. scoreboard. Yeah, I was, uh, mm. had some, some troubles with the punt game, but we're going to talk about stats in a moment. But go ahead with some scores. Let's Darren. do some scores. We've got, uh, I think some of these are from yesterday, but Estacado over Paladero, 48-14. to 14. Canyon Randall over Snyder, 31 to nothing. Friendship wins another close one, 54-52 over Lubbock Monterey. We've got Plainview over Wichita Falls, 27-10. Borger over Lamise at halftime, 7-6. Tahoka over Seagrave. No, Seagrave's over Tahoka, 12-7 in the second quarter. Muleshoe over Friona, 34-7. We've got Lubbock Roosevelt over Brownfield, 30-14. Dumas over Perryton, 20-7. Pampa leading Amarillo Caprock, 7-0. Vernon over Lakeview, 35-0. I knew they were playing tonight. Breckenridge over Cisco, 27-6. Colorado City leading Cristobal, 8-0. That's a real surprise. Sonora over El Dorado, great game, 20-13. We've got a close one here. Sweetwater leading Pecos, uh, almost halftime. It's 31-26. Wow. Monahan's over Big Springs, 30-14. We've got... Uh, Andrews over Greenwood, and this is still in the first half, 41 to 14. Greenwood's been giving up like 93 points a game. They're really <laughs> terrible. I, I like that. That's that's pretty funny. 
Mason Punchers over Ozona, 14 to seven in a good ball game. Permian, who I can't pick right all year. Permian beating Tascosa, 29 to nothing. We've mm. got uh, Abilene Cooper over San Angelo Central, 27 to 24 at halftime. Midland Legacy over Abilene Eagles, 21 to 10. Midland Legacy's pretty good. Lubbock Cooper now leading Abilene Wiley, 28 to 20. Forsen over Stanton, 12 to seven. Cahoma beating Kermit. 44 to six in the second quarter. Wichita Falls Ryder, a Rubens home team over Lubbock Coronado, 24 to nothing. We've got uh, Canyon West Plains. That's a new school, I believe, in Canyon. They've been around for a little bit. They're beating Canyon 24 to seven. They are really tough. A bit of an upset, Denver City leading Abernathy, 20 to 12. Midland High Bulldogs. My wife's alma mater is beating Amarillo Sandys, 19 to seven. Leveland over Lubbock, 9 to 7. Shallow Water over Hereford, 14 to 6. All these teams I picked the wrong one. Seminole over Clint Mountain View, 42 to 7 at halftime. We've got the old Desa Broncos trailing Keller, 23 to 21. Hmm. We've got Holy Cross over Sanderson, 24 to 12. Uh, Jim Ned over Wall, 14 to nothing in the second quarter. Reagan County leading Crane, 21 to 14. Compass, uh, Odessa Compass Cougars beating Irene seven to nothing at halftime. Another team I cannot pick correctly. Rock Springs, Angora's over the McKamey Badgers, 24 to 15. Wink over Alpine, 12 to six. Pretty good ball game. Fort Davis beating Grand Falls, 22 to nothing. I missed that one. We've got Garden City over Midland, Trinity 15 to seven. Westbrook killing rank at 38 to nothing. In the battle, I think, of the top two teams in the state. And Buena Vista and Hermely are tied 6-6, six to six, and that is in the first quarter. Okay, we'll be back. We've got the second half coming up. Fort Stockton leading Clint Horizon here at Panther Stadium, 27 to nothing. Back in a moment. When you need supplies in the oil field, the choice is clear. Choose Triple G Supply and Services in Fort Stockton. They have all the oil field supplies you need, including general oil field supplies, PVC pipe and fittings, hydraulic hoses, generators, safety equipment, household supplies, and much more. They also have roustabout services available. Triple G Supply and Services is right here in Fort Stockton at the west end of Dickinson at 1048 Crockett Avenue. Delivery is available to your location. Call 336-8284 Triple G Supply and Services. Big Bang Concrete can provide quality, ready-mixed concrete for any job you need to tackle. From a simple sidewalk or driveway to bigger projects that require multiple trucks for larger pours. Or on-site batch plant setups at remote locations for commercial or private endeavors. You make the call, they'll make the pour. Proud to be the number one concrete provider in the Trans-Pecos Big Bend area, Big Bend Concrete, 837-7179. Solid. Watch the highly acclaimed movie of the summer, Oppenheimer, now showing at Panther Pictures, Friday, September the 8th through Thursday, September 14th. Visit pantherpicturesfs.com for showtimes and ticket information. You don't want to miss it. Oppenheimer, now showing at Panther Pictures in Fort Stockton. Doctors Josh Pass, Brian Cherry, and Hewlin Pass are optometrists serving the West Texas area. Visit West Texas Eye Care at 605 North Main in Fort Stockton or 611 South Oak in Pecos. They offer complete and thorough eye examinations for the whole family, including therapeutic optometry, eyeglasses, contact lenses, laser surgery consultation, and screenings for macular degeneration and diabetes with an in-office lab. Call to make an appointment today in Fort Stockton at 336-3662 or in Pecos 445-3662. Contesa Ready Mix is now open and ready to serve all your concrete needs. They also offer general construction, precast, material hauling, and sand and gravel. They're located at 2270 Gonzales Loop. For more information, call 432-290-4947. Contesa Ready Mix, owned and operated by Colby Tarasas, serving Fort Stoughton and the surrounding area. Do you need dirt work done, trash hauling, roll-off dumpsters, a location built, line locating? Well then look no further than Little Regina Trucking. They do it all and offer very reasonable prices too. 
Stop by at 701 North Rooney or call 432-250-9611 seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Little Regina Trucking. We'll get it done. And we're back before halftime. Uh, let's talk about some stats for the Panthers, not only dominating on the scoreboard, but the stat category as well. Panthers 27 to nothing over Clint Horizon at halftime. We had 11 first downs. Horizon had three. We had 23 rushes for 204 yards. That's almost nine yards a carry. Also, Horizon 16 rushing yards, 16 attempts, I should say, for 10 yards. That's less than a yard a carry. Uh, we were three out of five passing for 38 yards and one touchdown. And uh, Clint Horizon, two out of seven passing for just five yards with one interception. We had no punts in the ball game. Horizon four punts for about a 23 yard average. We had 35 yards in penalties and Horizon 20 yards in penalties. Panthers entering the field to kick off for the second half, uh, leading 27 nothing. We'll be back in a moment. This Panther football broadcast on KFST is brought to you by Bucks Lube Center, Bienvenidos Mexican Food Restaurant, the Pecos County State Bank, Cassie Ledesma State Farm, Amistad Motors, the Steakhouse Restaurant, Triple R Welding, Adenanda Sanitation, Rainwater Motor Company, Farmers Insurance Agent, Adelina Salazar, Citibank, K Bob Steakhouse, Heritage Funeral Home, MJ Fast Lube, Julie's Easy Press, MJ Trucking, Sawyer Insurance, Glitzy Trends and Glitzy Brew, Contessa Ready Mix, Little Regina Trucking, Lowe's Market, and the Sagebrush Cafe. Also by Weiss Tire, Designer Carpets and Interiors, Pepito's Cafe, Permian Basin Abstract, The First National Bank, Cactus Health Services, The Guadalajara Mexican Grill, Stockton Glass and Mirror, Porky's Ice House, Angie Miles at Turnkey Realty, The Water Factory, Salceda Urgent Care and Family Medicine, Alamo Tire and Auto Repair, Concept Inc., CTG Express, Fort Stockton Insurance, Fort Stockton ISD, Ram Country of Fort Stockton, Triple G Supply and Services, Big Ben Concrete, West Texas Eye Care, Panther Pictures, and by R. K rentals and party supplies. Okay, we're back for the kickoff of the second half at Panther Stadium. 27 to nothing, our score, Fort Stockton leading. And it will be a kickoff by Clint Horizon to the Panthers. We won the toss and deferred to the second half, so we'll get the ball for the opening drive of the second half. And here's the high kick with the wind. It's caught very nicely at the 21 yard line by Fort Stockton. Nice return, if I'm not mistaken, that's Fabian Silva, or no, it is Diego Ramos uh, at the 40 yard line. Nice return by Diego up to the 40 yard line. That'll give us a first and 10 in pretty good field position to start. And that's gonna be a loss of one on the play. That was a pitch to Alonzo Galindo. Uh, that could be classified as a passing play, Pat, you know, uh, pitched forward for a loss of one, it's second and 11. It was a passing play and Gurley just got tripped up. He had a blocker in front, but uh, couldn't get around the corner. So it's second and 11, ball back to the 41 yard line. Marco in the shotgun with two running backs in an I formation. Here's the handoff and that goes to Isaiah Velasquez. He's got a first down and more. And he's taking care of the football. He, he held it a little bit loosely for a moment, but that's going to be a nice game. Uh, 17 yards, I believe, and that's going to be a first and 10. That's a Rainwater Motor Company first down. MHA Trucking Company outstanding play by Isaiah Velasquez. Yeah, I saw it. We did a little something different there I'll tell you about in a moment. First and 10, ball at the 42 of Horizon. Marco in the shotgun, hands it off. No, he doesn't. It's, uh, he keeps it, he passes into the left flat, it is caught, and Fort Stockton will have some pretty good yardage. That's a pass completion to Cash Norman for about six yards. Well, we'll call it five. It's second and five, and a nice catch by Ka uh, Cash Norman out in the left flat. Yeah, we were pulling our tackle, but last on that big running play, Julian Leva kicked back and he stayed to keep that outside side man from coming across and making the tackle and it worked really well. I like the adjustments that our coaches do at halftime. Second down and five for the Panthers at the 37 yard line. Fake handoff, here is Marco going down uh, and it was almost tipped by, it was tipped I believe by Clint and then Cash almost got it. Cash Norman, the intended receiver down the middle and after it was tipped, it was uh, deflected and, and a little bit away from Norman. He couldn't come down with it. But a pretty nice pass and uh, pass reception attempt there by Norman, but it's now third and five. 
Yeah, it's tough. Really had good coverage on that play and uh, tried a shot down the middle. I like it. Open up the field. Third down and five. We'll see if the Panthers run. Look at this. Uh, these blockers here on the right side for the Panthers. And that's a fake. And now Marco will take it around the left side. Oh, and he dropped the ball, and it went out of bounds. I think it went out. But they're going to say, I think uh, it may have stayed in bounds, and it may be Horizon's ball. We'll yeah. see. The yeah. ball did pop out on the tackle on Marco Garcia. They're trying to decide, and uh, I think he's saying that he was down when the ball popped out. He's talking. They're talking. He said, I'm reading lips. You know, I took that advanced lip reading course, and he says, I think the guy was down, the ball popped out late, and the guy goes, are you sure? Because we're right here on the El Paso sideline. He said, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So it's going to be Fort Stockton ball. Yeah, and I, yeah. I read all of that with my binoculars from across the field, just so you'll know uh -huh. when they make the call and I'm right that I was really doing it. Well, it is going to be Fort Stockton ball. We're going to retain possession. Told you. And now the question is, did we make the first down, and where's the spot? But we did make the first down. Looks like we did. Yes. First it down. is first down, first and ten. That's a Rainwater Motor Company first down for the Panthers. Nice run by Marco. He did get pretty hit pretty hard there, Darren, which popped the ball loose. But we do retain possession, and they need to move those chains forward. Well, I did, and, you know, I hope I get an A in that lip reading course. First and 10 for the Panthers, 32-yard line. Here's Marco, another beautiful fake. That time may be an incomplete pass. I don't think, you know, Cash Norman did make a great attempt at catching the very low pass, but he couldn't quite keep it off the turf. So it's going to be second and 10. I like those plays where you uh, fake to the running back, pull it out, and then throw it out into the flat. And just couldn't quite connect on that one. First down, second down and 10. Second and 10 at the 32-yard line of Horizon. Panthers are leading 27 to nothing. That's your little Regina Trucking game score update. Clear night here in Fort Stockton. And here's Marco rolling out to his right again. Got lots of green, and he jukes a guy, and he's down to the 20-yard line. That'll be a first down. That's a about an 11-yard pickup down to the 21-yard line by Marco Garcia, maybe to the 20. Very close to the 20, maybe about a 12-yard pickup. Now they'll mark it at the 21. Not quite into the red zone yet, Darren. No, but we're ready to announce it, right? Yes, sir. I'm ready. I'm ready. First and 10, ball at the 21 of Clint Horizon with the Panthers leading 27 to nothing. 9.28 to go in the third quarter. And here's the handoff. This goes to Isaiah Velasquez, and Velasquez will be down at the 15-yard line and a nice pickup. And he's down to the 15, bringing up uh, second and about four. Six-yard pickup by Isaiah. We are now in the M&J Fast Lube red zone. Thank you. We're 15 yards away from scoring another touchdown here. Well, that would that would we'd need a up, update score update. If what we do I, that. I think all of uh, what all four of the touchdowns in the first half by the Panthers were scored in the second quarter. You are correct, Preston. Second and four. Here's the handoff, goes to Isaiah Velasquez. He's hit hard from behind, very close to first down yardage. He's going to be inches short, I think. It'll be third down and about a yard coming up. Really a nice job blocking up front by the Panthers. I think, uh, you know, we, we were a little conservative maybe. We're going into the win in the first quarter, but we really opened it up in the second quarter. And now we, you know, take off moving the ball all the way down the field and got a chance to score. We see the silhouette of Seven Mile Mesa, Mesa out there to really the is, southeast. Really is pretty. Third down and one. Here's the handoff to Isaiah. He's got a wide open lane up the middle, very close to the touchdown. He's going to be marked down inside the one-yard line. And that's going to be a gain of 12 yards for Isaiah. First and goal brought to you by Rainwater Motor Company. Outstanding play brought to you by m &J Trucking Company. And it's first and goal. Inside the one, I tell you, the nose of the football is right at the goal line. Well, if it had a nose, you'd be right. So it is a pigskin. Wouldn't it be a snout? 
the snout of the football if it's a pigskin. First and goal. Isaiah still the running back. Marco Garcia the quarterback. Two receivers on the left, one on the right. And here's a handoff to Isaiah. He's in the end zone, and I don't even think he was touched going into the end zone that time. And now we've got the flashing lights being operated by Cole Mitchell, I think. And uh, did a great job right there with the flashing lights. That's a triple R welding touchdown by the Panthers. The holder is Cash Norman, and the kicker is Diego Ramos. We've gone three out of four from PATs tonight. Let's see if Diego can get the, this PAT. Well, he's made them all, except we didn't kick one. And here's the kick. Looks good. It is. And it's 34 to nothing. Fort Stockton leading over Clint Horizon. And we'll be back with more Panther football in a moment. The schools of Fort Stockton ISD provide comprehensive educational services in our community. Hello, this is Dr. Gabe Zamora, Superintendent. Whatever the educational need, we are committed to doing our best. This includes providing a safe environment and opportunities to improve the education of your student. We are extremely proud of our students and their accomplishments. We are proud to sponsor FSISD Sports Broadcast for those unable to attend. Go Panthers and go Prowlers! Are your insurance rates too high? At Fort Stockton Insurance, you're not stuck. We can shop within our own carriers to find the best deals. Do you know that we do more than property and auto? We do life, commercial, farm, and specialty insurance. Do you want to run on the field with the Baylor Bears? Have an Aerolite plane or a vintage vehicle? We insure all of that. Need a bond or commercial insurance? We can help you there too. This is Pam at Fort Stockton Insurance. We're located at 901 West Dickinson or give us a call at 336-8565. All right, we're back, and I tell you, Darren, that probably was uh, about the best kickoff coverage we've had tonight on Horizon. They took the ball about the 12-yard line, only return it eight yards to the 20, and a very physical tackle on the return man at the sideline. Yeah, I think that was number 12, Jaden Ramirez. If it wasn't him, it was number two, Gamma Corral, but really a nice job by the Panthers. Xavier Dominguez back in the game kicking off. And yeah, that's uh, good to see that Xavier was not ejected on that personal foul in the first half. He is back. Coach Hickman did, did hold him out, though, uh, the rest of the first half after that call. But he's back now. Well, and the band is back. They did not get kicked out either for the fight song. <laughs> so, you know, we, uh, we'll keep you updated. First down and 10. Ball at the 20-yard line of Horizon after their return. And it's now 34 to nothing, Fort Stockton. Here's a pass complete into the left flat and an immediate tackle on the receiver by number, I think it's 28, and no, it's not. Can't be 28. Um, was it 20? Uh, it's, there's, what, the I receiver? Believe, I, no, the tackle man. I believe it was uh, Gabriel Caballero, perhaps. Perhaps. I was a, it was 20-something. I got lost. I was kind of yeah. watching the wrong place that time. Um, all right. So, and by the way, that was just great coverage for a loss of one on a completed pass into the left flat. Two receivers on each side. Quarterback in the shotgun. Let's see. Now is the starting quarterback back in the game? It, he is. Yeah, he is. Yes, he Rodriguez. Is. He, uh, they hand it off on a sweep around the right side. Now there's a big scrum after a gain of about uh, seven, uh, we'll call it seven yards. Uh, to make it third and about four coming up for Clint Horizon. I love the light show. It, rem it reminds me when I visited Area 51 and saw those aliens uh, that we have held in those containment jars. Pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't know you were there. Oh, yes. Third down and four. Here's the handoff right up the middle this time. And Panthers will hold this to a two-yard gain to bring up a fourth down for Horizon. Will they go for it? Well, they tried on to go on a two. They tried to go on a quick count that time. Usually, they wait till it's under 10 seconds, take all the time off. Well, and uh, we we weren't quite set, but did a nice job of making the tackle. They are bringing in the punt team on fourth and two, deep in their own territory. Ball is at the 28-yard line. 5.35 remaining in this third quarter. Panthers leading 34 to nothing. That's your Little Regina Trucking game score update. We need to block it. They had some rough punts in the first half. Here's another high snap 
flag coming in, and they're going to blow this dead before they get the ball away. We've got a couple of uh, great games tomorrow on KFST on the FM station, 94.3, Texas A&M versus Miami, 1.30 broadcast, kickoff 2.30, and then later on the AM station, Texas versus Alabama, broadcast at 5, kickoff at 6. It's fourth down and seven now for Horizon. They'll try to punt again. They had a motion call. Really high snap again. Panthers almost got to it, and they nevertheless force a very bad punt by Clint Horizon. Man, th and this is with the wind. Uh, so this is an eight-yard punt to the 31-yard line. And the Panthers, no, 36, 36-yard line. So we will take over at the 36, first and 10, and we get great field position again. This is about the third or fourth time, third time I know that we've gotten great field position because of a bad punt. Well, the, the snap is horrible. The snap is slow. It's way up in the air. Yeah. The punter's running to try to field the ball. I, he was under a lot of pressure because of the, the the slow snap. Oh yeah. It's a it's it's not a, it's not a very good operation. Okay, first down and 10 ball at the Horizon 36. We've got a different quarterback, don't we? Cash Norman. Is it? Yeah, it is Cash playing quarterback. Hands it off to Velasquez. Here comes Velasquez running around the right side. He's inside the 20, still in bounds. And I think he went, well, they say he went out of bounds at the 17. I thought he stayed in bounds to about the 11, but they're saying he stepped out of bounds at the 17. So it'll be first and 10 brought to you by Rainwater Motor Company. And another outstanding play brought to you by m &J Trucking to the 17, Isaiah with a big gain on that play. Yeah, followed Corbin Luna. Luna was blocking and really did a nice job getting down the field. Cash Norman, the quarterback. We're in the red zone. We're in the red zone, and that's sponsored by m j Fast Lube. Here's a fake hand. Oh, that's a fumble, and we pick it up. We save the possession, and that was Corbin Luna. No, it was uh, – Cash Norman, who saved the possession. He recovered the fumble. There was a mix-up on the handoff, Darren, a bad handoff that time, and it came loose. Well, I think he was trying to pull it out, and uh, he's handing it to the running back, and they had the running back. And they were going to tackle him, so he tried to pull it away, and then just uh, the ball fell on the ground. Eight-yard loss, and it's second and 18. Ball at the 26-yard line. We're going to see a pass right here. Well, I bet we throw it to number eight. What do you bet? All right, Norman in the shotgun. He will fake the handoff and take it right up the middle himself. Uh. And Norman is brought down at the 21-yard line. And a gain of about six on the play, maybe. Well, we got a player down uh, for Clint. Not, not that much, maybe five yards gain, third and 13 or so. Well, it's a big play. I mean, I think we're in four down territory, but you know, I think we're going to see Cash Norman throw it again. I, I was surprised he didn't throw it there. We tried to cross him up, but... Uh, 331 and counting in the third quarter. Fort Stockton sends Cash Norman back in with the play. Cash Norman now playing quarterback after a big lead of 34 0. Two running backs in the backfield, Velasquez and Luna. They better pick it up. Seven seconds. Two receivers on the right, one on the left. And here's the pass out into the flat, complete. And that is going to be down to about the 13-yard line, short of the first down, but there's a flag coming in after the play. Norman's pass complete. I, wasn't that Isaiah Velasquez on the catch? No, it was no? not. It Was uh, Was uh, it Diego number, Ramos? I think it was number two, Gamma Corral. Maybe so. It was number two, Gamma Corral that caught Personal that. foul, Fort Stockton. I don't know what we did, but they're calling a personal foul on the Panthers on a dead ball foul. I think he was on the band for playing the fight song again. <laughs> They're really cracking down on that. Have you noticed? No, I don't know what uh, – what I didn't see the personal foul, but there was a lot of players in the middle there, so I just didn't see it. But now we've got a third and very long for the Panthers, third and about 15, close to it anyway. I'm surprised that's – I guess uh, it wasn't a dead ball foul. It must have been going oh, on during the play. Oh, it's fourth down. Yeah, that was a dead ball foul. Oh. So, it is now fourth down. Fourth and down and about 20. Fourth down and almost, yeah, about 20 yards. So, 
We have backed up on this drive after being in the red zone. Now it's fourth and about 20. Here's Cash Norman in the shotgun. Now he's looking for somebody to throw to downfield. Good protection. Julian Leba with great protection. He throws the ball incomplete downfield. So it will turn over on downs to Clint Horizon at the 28-yard line. Well, Panthers I are leading. Missed, excuse me. Missed opportunity. Yep. Fort Stockton over Clint Horizon, 34 to nothing. That's your little Regina Trucking game score update. You know, we've had a touchdown called back, and that time a, a penalty, a bad penalty, a dead ball penalty, so we didn't even get the down over. Right. Probably cost us another score. Okay, so they finally start the play clock. Horizon's over there with a long huddle after the change of possession. I thought it was the regular size huddle. You thought it was a long one? Yeah. Hmm. In time. Oh, in time. Oh, I got you. I thought we were doing shapes and you were doing time. First down 10, ball at the 28-yard line for Horizon. I think the – oh, and they call a timeout uh, to avoid the delay of game penalty. We'll be back in just a moment. And this timeout brought to you by RK Reynolds and Party Supplies. The Guadalajara Mexican Grill in Fort Stockton features authentic Jalisco style Mexican food with friendly and fast service. They're open starting at 8 a.m. for breakfast daily until 9.30 each night, Tuesday through Thursday, and until 10 p.m. Friday through Sunday. They also feature delicious Mexican desserts along with beer, pina coladas, margaritas, and micheladas with great specials every day. The Guadalajara Mexican Grill at 200 East 19th in Fort Stockton on the Imperial Highway. Hernandez Sanitation in Fort Stockton proudly serves a large portion of West Texas with sanitation services, including the oil field for portable toilets, holding tanks, septic tank service, grease trap service, or large roll-off trash containers. Contact Hernandez Sanitation today by calling owner and operator Joe Angel Hernandez at 432-336-3803. Hernandez Sanitation, a proud member of the Fort Stockton community, always supporting all the athletic and extracurricular activities in Fort Stockton schools. All right, we're back after the timeout to avoid the delay of game. And here's Horizon with a first and 10. The clock does start, and there's a fake pass, a pump. And then the quarterback is going to keep it, and he's going to have a first down. It's only about the fourth first down of the ball game, I think, for Clint Horizon. And uh, that's going to be a gain of about 12 out to the 41-yard line by the quarterback, Robert Rodriguez. Did a nice job running up the middle. He was able to probably evade two or three tacklers. Now 2.30 remaining third quarter. Fort Stockton 34, Horizon nothing. That's your Little Regina Trucking game score update. Oh, I missed it. Two receivers on the right, one on the left, and here's the handoff. Boy, he nearly and lost I tell it. you, oh man, I you know, I thought he might have fumbled the ball, but uh, he kept it. Julio Jimenez on the run for a loss of one. Panthers with great defense along the line of scrimmage again that time. He was bobbling that handoff. It was right. It was riding up his arm, but I thought when he got hit, he might lose it, but did a good job. Second down, 11 now for Horizon. Back to the 40-yard line. One of their offensive linemen goes off the field. Made a substitution. Hmm. Two receivers on the right, one on the left. Quarterback will hand it off again. Oh, man, what a great play by number 90, Zeke, uh, Zeke Soto. I thought it was. And, uh, I, I think it was number 90 there. He's in the game. Yes. And uh, that's no gain on the play, third down and 11. Really is. We've got a lot of backups in right now. Of course, you know, into the third quarter, up 34 to nothing. I think everyone needs to see the, see the field, don't you? Oh, yeah. I think if you went down, they'd put you in for at least one snap. They might. It's about all I could last. <laughs> Third down and 11, ball at the 40-yard line. Here's the quarterback back to throw. And uh, we got a lineman through their defenders and uh, putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback. The quarterback throws it deep down the right sideline, incomplete. Coverage there by Randy Sandoval on the on the receiver. Yeah, that was Zeke Soto once again getting in, putting good pressure on the quarterback. 
forcing him out of the pocket. But you know what? That was close to being a big play. I tell you, he threw it about a yard too far, but uh, they had to step on us. Fourth down and 11. We'll see if they punt it again. Well, this is the advantage. We ought to block this. This is such a terrible punt team. We ought to be able to block one. Number 31 is their punter, and that's Carlos Marquez. Fourth down and 11, ball at the 40-yard line. We'll see if they go ahead and punt. We believe they will on fourth and 11. Man, we almost got to the punt again. And there's uh, Isaiah Velasquez fielding the ball at the 28-yard line, and he is uh, returning it up to the 31. So that'll be a return 36 of eight yards. I think he's on the 36. Uh, he took it at the 28. He's on the 36, though, where he ended up. Uh, correct, yes. So that's an eight-yard return. Yes. Uh, wait, let me take off my shoe and start. You know what? That's about eight yards. First down and 10, ball at the 36-yard line for the Fort Stockton Panthers. Marco Garcia is back in at quarterback now. And we've got uh, three receivers on the left-hand side, one on the right. The uh, running back is a different running back, and this is number seven. Yes. Johnny Brown. JB. JB in the game. Uh, good to see JB out there. Johnny Brown. He lost a yard on that play. It'll be second and 11. Ball back to the 35 yard line. The third quarter about to come to an end. I don't think we'll snap it again. No. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take a break here. The uh, quarter break and it's 34 nothing Panthers. We'll be back in a moment. Heritage Funeral Home in Fort Stockton is here to serve you and your family in times of need. Remember, not only is everybody somebody in Fort Stockton, Texas, but everybody is treated like family at Heritage Funeral Home. When they receive your loved one into their care, you can be sure that they will honor your family's heritage. Call Heritage Funeral Home at 432-336-3939 or go by 301 North Main Street and allow them to help you pre-plan your or your family's final farewell. Julie's Easy Press Cleaners is ready to serve you with all your laundry cleaning needs. From drop-off to pickup, you'll enjoy not having to do the washing, drying, or pressing. It's done for you. Whether it's a party, office meeting, or lunch with friends, show up dressed for success. Because at Julie's Easy Press, they know when you look good, you feel good. Julie's Easy Press, 1101 North Front Street, or call 336-6601. Hey, Fort Stockton, K-Bobs is looking for new team members, and we're hiring hard workers who are dependable and willing to learn. Do you have what it takes to be a top server? Can you keep up in the kitchen? Even if you've never worked in a restaurant, show up with a good attitude, and we'll teach you. Enjoy competitive pay, employ discounts, and earn the opportunity to advance your career. Our people matter, and it's our number one goal to be the best place to work in Fort Stockton. Apply in person or online at k-bobs.com careers. We look forward to to seeing you. All right, here's the handoff as we begin the fourth quarter. A flag, and I believe it was thrown against the Panthers for perhaps illegal motion before the ball was snapped. So we'll be backed up five yards, and it'll be second and 16. We're going backwards <coughs> lately. Have you noticed that? Yeah, uh, it's gotten a little sloppy. But we're in the lead. Now it's second and 16 for huh. the Panthers. Back to the 29-yard line. And Marco has the fake handoff. He's being chased. Now Marco is going to throw it left-handed out of bounds, and that will save the yardage. I tell you, a, a good job there by number 40 for uh, Clint Horizon, Donovan Hunter, a senior. He was really chasing after Marco on that play. Well, he is a hunter. Yes. He was hunting the quarterback. He's a big guy. He is a big guy. Third down and 16 for the Panthers at the 29. They've got a Donovan. They've got a Fabian. They've got a whole band. Yeah. A lot yeah. of good singers out of that uh, group. they got a guy named Chaos. I think that's <laughs> pretty fantastic. What do it's, you think? It's got a strange spelling. We've got a timeout by Fort Stockton, and it's an R&K Reynolds timeout. We'll be back in a moment. 
MNJ Trucking Services supports our Fort Stockton Panther and Prowler athletic teams and wants you to know that there's a locally owned and operated oil field trucking company that can handle your vacuum truck and water hauling in the surrounding area. It's MNJ Trucking in Fort Stockton, offering 24 hour a day, seven day a week vacuum truck and water hauling service. Contact MNJ Trucking today at 290-4510. MNJ Trucking, owned and operated by Martini Barra, proudly supporting the Fort Stockton Panthers and Prowlers. Sawyer Insurance Agency has six locations in West Texas to serve you, including 706 West Dickinson in Fort Stockton and 1502 South Stockton Avenue in Monahans, along with offices in Pecos, Midland, Lubbock, and Amarillo. They offer the most complete line of commercial and personal insurance from workers' comp, general liability, business and personal auto, commercial property, equipment, oil and gas, farm and ranch, and home insurance. Contact Clyde, Nathan, or Travis Sawyer today by calling 336-7543 or 943-9600. We're back, and it's third down and 16 after we called a timeout. And we've got a quarterback in the shotgun formation. Looks like Marco's still in there at quarterback, and he's back to throw. And he's throwing it deep downfield, and there's nobody there. That was 10 to 15 yards beyond the intended receiver, Fabian Silva. So it'll bring up a fourth and 16 for the Panthers. Have we punted tonight? Is this this our is our first punt, I believe. All right. And Jerry, Jerry Diaz is our punter, number 11. He may run. He could. He's run like 14 times. Well, not not maybe that many. Th maybe three. All right, Jerry Diaz to punt here with 11.45 remaining in the game. And he's got the wind behind his back. What a nice punt. And it's muffed, but uh, Horizon picks it back up, and now they'll return it for about five or six yards. But, uh, you know, I thought for a moment we might have a chance to get on a muffed punt, but they did pick it back up. They're out to the 33-yard line with the return, and it will be first and 10 for Horizon against the wind. And the wind has died down a bit. It's probably now just about 5 to 12 miles per hour, something like that. Of course, the dream of every young high school player to get on a muffed punt. Yeah. All right, we've got 11.30 remaining in this ball game. Huh, 11.30. Beautiful field here, new, new turf. The lights are on at the baseball, softball field and here at the our field as well, so. That's a loss on the play. Great defensive play by Fort Stockton. Number like 81. Number 81 there. Yeah, that's Braden Valenzuela with a great tackle for a loss of a yard. It's second and 11. Nice job by Braden Valenzuela. It's one of the Braden bunch. I'm going to call remember that, that story from him. You, know, you know, we've had lots of outstanding plays, but there's an MJ Trucking Company outstanding play on defense. The Braden Bunch, the Braden Bunch. You remember that show? That was pretty good. Second and 11. Quarterback in the shotgun pitches it out to his running back. And that time he'll get about four yards on the carry. Got the lost yard back and maybe three more. And that was their running back, Julio Jimenez, on the run on a sweep that time, a pitch out. They haven't done that much. No, oh, and that was a nice tackle by number 50, Luke Poulos. If I'm not mistaken, he wrote one of the books in the New Testament. <laughs> Third down and seven, ball at the 36 yard line. He's probably the son of our trainer, isn't he? Probably. Third down and seven, uh, here's There's the a hold. quarterback to throw and he's got a completed pass for a first down across the 50 yard line. That was completed to their wide receiver, Jacob Olivo, a junior. He's at the 49 yard line in Fort Stockton territory. That may be the longest yardage play for uh, Horizon all night long. It's pretty good play. Uh, they got away with a hold in the, in the backfield. Yeah, but I, I, think so. I wouldn't have called it either right now. Yeah. Uh, first down and 10, ball at the 49-yard line in Panther territory. They have two receivers on each side. Rodriguez, the quarterback. Panthers trying to keep their shutout intact. And, oh, there's a fumble, and it's picked up on a lucky bounce 
by their running back, number nine, Julio Jimenez. It bounced on the turf right back up into his hands, and uh, I got back to the line of scrimmage. It's second and ten. Yeah, that's twice already on this drive where the ball is bounced right back to them. Okay, second and ten now. Ball at the Panther 49-yard line. Clint Horizon has not scored yet. It's 34 to nothing, Fort Stockton. That's your little Regina trucking game score update. Two receivers on each side once again with Rodriguez at quarterback. Here he is back to throw. That looked like a hold as well, but there's uh, Rodriguez. This time he gets away from the Panther defenders and he has got a first down inside the 30 to the 29 yard line. And that is a big gain of 20 yards by the quarterback on the keeper. Their quarterback is not bad. He's he, he's not, he doesn't have great speed, but he's very elusive. Rodriguez takes the snap, fakes the handoff, now runs up the middle. And that will be a gain of Oh, about four yards up to the 26-yard line. I don't know where the line judge was on the far side, but he was going way upfield. But uh, that's just a four-yard gain. Second down and six coming up. And may maybe just a three-yard gain, actually, second and seven. Yeah, somewhere in there. Three, four. Now we're, you know, with 7.50 to go in the ball game. This game is going by very quickly tonight. A lot of running plays. Keep the clock running. And here's Horizon faking the handoff again is Rodriguez. And the Panthers, they have a shovel pass, and I think it was caught. It was caught. I didn't I thought maybe uh, he just he just shoveled it out at the last moment to a receiver who caught it. And I believe it was number seven. Yeah, uh, Jacob Olivo, who caught the ball for a first down. They're in the red zone now at the 19 yard line, first and 10 on a shovel pass, a desperation pass looked like at the last moment as the quarterback was under a lot of pressure. Yeah, it was, I think it was gonna be a naked bootleg and we were all over it. He was gonna get sacked and he flipped it out and they caught it. First down and 10, ball at the 19 yard line. Quarterback in the shotgun, hands it off up the middle and met right in the hole was their running back number nine, Julio Jimenez. That's a gain of a yard on the play. It'll be second and nine. Good stop by the Panther defense. Yeah, we still got uh, <laughs> we still got Xavier in that center. They they've been battling it out since the first quarter. Second Talking. and nine after a one yard pickup. The ball is at the 18 yard line we of Fort Stockton. We brought back in a couple of our starters uh, once they got into the red zone. All right, Horizon splits out two receivers on each side. They're going to switch sides with a couple of those receivers. Quarterback is up under center this time. He will fake the handoff, roll out to the right, look for somebody in the end zone to throw to, and boy, that was caught, and there's a, it's a touchdown, and there might have been interference as well on the play. There's a flag thrown. I think they'll decline the penalty that uh, if it's interference on Fort Stockton. And that's going to be a touchdown for Horizon. Well, that was a nice catch uh, against uh, really close coverage by the Panthers. But a little too close, apparently. Well, we'll find out. Pass interference on Fort Stockton. And that is ineligible, an, oh, ineligible receiver downfield on uh, the Scorpions. So those penalties will offset. And the touchdown is negated. And we've got second and nine once again. That's a good word, negated. I like that. We ought to use that more. Negated. What was the, uh, what was the word we were talking about at the beginning we should use more? Touted? Was it touted? No, shellac. Shellac, yeah. Oh, yeah, they've got their helmets, a uh, nice kind of shellac. And now their team is shellac to boot. So, you know, now it's complete set. All right, second and nine for Horizon. Still maintaining the shutout are the Panthers. Here's the quarterback back to throw. And now he's under pressure. They throw it into the end zone, overthrown. Nobody could get to that one. That was great pressure by Xavier Dominguez up the middle that time, Darren. We only rushed three guys. Everybody else was back in coverage. Yeah, there wasn't any really any place to throw the ball. He just kind of threw it up there for grabs. But it was 
but not close enough for anyone to, to grab. Okay, they're in the red zone, third and nine at about the 18-yard line of Fort Stockton. Clint Horizon trying to put some points on the board. 5.33 to go in the fourth quarter. Fort Stockton leading 34 to nothing. That's a lot. We were, what, favored by about 20? 25, I think. Oh, okay, 25. 39, uh-oh, the quarterback fumbles it, now picks it back up under pressure by Isaiah Velasquez, and the quarterback has to throw it away down the left sideline, and he is really huffing and puffing and down on his knees on the far sideline. But Isaiah Velasquez really putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback, and Isaiah is every bit the athlete to match up with him that, uh, that Rodriguez is. So Isaiah, great job on the pressure. Did a nice job, uh, Isaiah, closest to what maybe we have as a two-way starter plays. Uh, starts on defense, but runs the ball quite a bit. And it's fourth down and nine now for Horizon. So they will go for it here. As they bring their team back onto the field, Rodriguez still at quarterback. Two receivers on the left, two on the right. Single running back is Jimenez. The snap, here's the quarterback. And he is being chased by Velasquez. He throws it into the end zone. Really good coverage there by the Panthers as the Panthers knock it down. I think Jerry Diaz on the coverage. Yeah, Jerry Diaz was back there and really, you no, know, he had a better shot at the ball. He had the receiver covered, jumped up, and just knocked it away. So I'm it'll turn over on down. I'm really glad we, that we maintained the shutout here, really. Uh, uh, shutout looks good. Well, it does, and it makes the trip a lot longer for El Paso going back home. You know, it's kind of fun. You know, if we if, you know, if we get the broadcast, we could probably run out and taunt the bus a little bit on their way out or something. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh. That would be bad sportsmanship. First down and 10, ball at the 18. We put a man in motion. That's a handoff to Luis Ramos. Ramos has got a nice run for a first down out to the 33 or 34 yard line. That's Luis Ramos with the uh, pitch out coming, you know, in a round play, but there's a flag back inside the 20 yard line holding Fort Stockton. Man, we have uh, had our share of penalties here in the second half and there's a man down for the Panthers. Ramos, Luis. We will is down. take a timeout brought to you by RNK Reynolds. We'll be back in a moment. Need a quick, efficient oil change? MJ Fast Lube at 116 West Dickinson is here to serve you. Martine and Julia Ibarra invite you to stop by. They have great service and they offer auto oil and lube services with the top major oil brands. They also offer state inspections and vehicle washing and cleaning. Or you can get your vehicle completely detailed. It'll look like you just bought it. That's him and Jay Fastly, 116 West Dickinson, supporting Panther and Prowler Sports. Go Blue! Porky's Ice House in Fort Stockton is the place to get your drinks and snacks in Fort Stockton with two convenient drive through lanes open seven days a week for teas, lemonades, and fountain drinks with added flavors upon request and much more. Go by Porky's Ice House and remember, happy hour is each day from 4 to 6 p.m. with all drinks any size for just a dollar. They also make popular Clamato, Squirt, Topo Chico, and Jerky Preparados that are delicious along with nachos. Porky's Ice House, 1401 West Dickinson in Fort Stockton. Stockton Glass and Mirror is locally owned and operated and welcomes you to give them a call for a free estimate on any job. They're your premier commercial and residential glass installation company, proudly serving the trans Bicus and Big Bend for more than 30 years. Stockton Glass and Mirror offers quality glass products professionally installed, along with broken glass repair, shower enclosures, and much more. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to noon and 1 to 5. Call 336-3152 or go by 202 East 5th Street. Stockton Glass and Mirror, glass west of the Pecos. Triple R Welding, located at 2215 West 9th, is here for all your residential, commercial, or oil field needs. From roustabout hotshot and certified welding to building and installing your own personalized one-of-a-kind fence and entrance. Bring them your ideas and they can make it happen. Call 336-5289. Triple R Welding. They can weld anything except a broken heart and the crack of dawn. Visit them today at 2215 West 9th Street or call 336-5289. Well, Luis Ramos uh, was helped off by the training staff, and so we've got a first and 20 
for the Panthers after a holding call uh, after what would have been a first down. Here's a pass complete into the right flat, and the Panthers uh, getting good yardage on that. Pass complete to uh, Alonzo Galindo there, and that's going to be a nice gain of about 13 yards to make up the penalty yardage plus about three more. We've got a second and seven coming up now for the Panthers, and there now there's a Horizon player down, and we'll be back in just a moment. Weiss Tire is the clear choice in Fort Stockton and West Texas for all your tire needs with reasonable prices and the best customer service. They've been here for over 35 years and are locally owned and operated. They offer a huge selection of new tires available from many brands along with rotations, alignment, oil changes, brake jobs, air conditioning, recharging, and other minor auto repair and maintenance. Plus, all major credit cards are accepted and financing is available. Go by and see Weiss Tire, 701 West Dickinson in Fort Stockton. If you're needing personal attention to your medical needs, visit Salceda Urgent Care and Family Medicine in Fort Stockton at 703 North Main. They can help with life's little urgencies that cannot wait for an appointment. They provide urgent care, hormone optimization for men and women, vitamin supplements, family medicine, chronic care for all ages, including cholesterol treatment, blood pressure, diabetes, thyroid optimization, and treat many other conditions. Call for appointments 360-3029. Walk-ins are welcome at 703 North Main. All right, so number 72 goes off uh, with help. Jaime Mendoza for Horizon. So we've had a couple of injuries on consecutive plays. Now we've got a second down and six for the Fort Stockton Panthers. Deep in our own territory at the 23-yard line. Panthers are leading 34 to nothing. That's your game score update brought to you by Little Regina Trucking. Three receivers on the right, one on the left, and it's uh, a handoff. No, it's uh, Cash Norman keeping the ball. Cash playing quarterback. He's got a first down up to the 39-yard line of the Panthers. So that's a nice gain by Cash Norman. Outstanding play brought to you by m &J Trucking Company, and it's a Rainwater Motor Company first down. Yeah, nice job. I tell you, he's, uh, he was our quarterback last year, I believe, on our freshman team and did a nice job on the run Pass option. Cash just a sophomore, right? He is. First and 10. Here's the handoff to Isaiah Velasquez, I think. Isaiah will be across the 45. May, I believe they're going to spot him forward progress to the 46-yard line. Pick up of seven, I believe, for Isaiah. Was that Isaiah Velasquez on the run? Let me look. Uh, no, it's, no, not. it's Corbin it's Luna. Cor Corbin Luna, excuse yep. me. So a tough run by Corbin Luna up the middle. Second down and three now, ball at the 46-yard line. Well, but, I think uh, we pick up a couple of first downs and then go into the victory formation. What do you think? Yeah, 338 remaining. Second down and three. Everybody in pretty tight here for the Panthers. Got uh, receivers close in here on the left side blocking, and that is a run by Cash Norman up the middle for another Panther first down. Five yards picked up, and it's a Rainwater Motor Company first down. We're racking up the first downs here now. We are. 318 and counting left in the football game. We'll have some scores for you uh, after this game is over. We're going to have time to, to give you some scores before the scoreboard show begins. We play Crane on the road next week in a 730 kickoff. All right, here's a handoff, Corbin Luna. First down, tries to hurdle the defender and does, but uh, he's upended in midair for a gain of about 11 yards. He needed to hurdle about an inch higher. <laughs> he would have been clean, but. Uh, nah. And that's a Rainwater Motor Company first down once again for the Panthers. You are correct. First wow. and 10, ball at the 37 of Clint Horizon. We Panthers. got some interesting games tonight. Yeah. Panthers leading 34 to nothing. Here's the fake handoff, and now Cash, <laughs> he got caught up with his own man there a little bit. Now there's a pass, and that possibly could have been intercepted, but I think it was incomplete. I think the ball fell to the turf, so it's second and 10. It did. He, I tell you what, he had a man open, but they, you know, it was a running play, but uh, it got bottled up. He yep. had a man open downfield, but it was tipped. We got uh, we got our player Luis Ramos leaving the field. I've got uh, something on him on his leg to stabilize it. Second down and ten for the Panthers. Ball at the 37-yard line. 
And now Horizon will run in a substitution at the last moment. They, I don't think they had enough players on the field. Second and 10. I, Cash Norman is in the shotgun and he will take it himself. There's a flag coming in in the backfield. I, I, I'm not sure that they had a rule change. I think if you're down by over 30 in the fourth quarter in the last three minutes, you can play 12 guys on defense. I thought I read that. Did you see anything no, on that coming no, across? No, I didn't see that. But we've got a holding call again on Fort Stockton. This will be the second holding call on this possession that we've had. Had one deep in our own territory, but we overcame that penalty. So, what is it, second down now and about 20? Well, it sure does seem like it. Yeah, second and 20. Ball back to the 47-yard line in Clint territory. Clint Horizon, our opponent tonight. We'll play two other Clint schools. We're going to play all the Clint schools this, this year. Here's the handoff, and that goes to number seven, Johnny Brown. He will gain about three yards, third down and about uh, 17 or 18, maybe two yards. Good job, Johnny Brown. That sounds like a football name, doesn't it? It is. I like, I like JB. Good guy. Third down and 18. Cash Norman in the shotgun. Two receivers on each side. And here's Cash taking the snap. And now back to throw. He throws it deep downfield. And it is just overthrown over the uh, fingertips of number 13 there for the Panthers, Alonzo Galindo. I think if he had not clipped his fingernails this morning, he would have caught that. It was very, very close. <laughs> I think Jerry may get a chance to punt again. Yeah, it's fourth down and about 18 yards to go. Wow, that much? That's a lot. Come on, Jerry, punt Jer it into the end zone. Jerry Diaz, now there's virtually no wind, very light wind out of the south. And we've got a fourth and 18 and a punt by Jerry Diaz, only the second punt of the night for Fort Stockton. And that's a nice looking punt. It does take a slight Clint Horizon bounce back to the 10 yard line. So that'll be a 35 yard punt back to the 10. And we've got 118 remaining in the game. This game about to come to an end, Darren, with another Panther victory. And the Panthers are gonna go to three and zero on the year with Crane coming up next week on the road. Well, I don't like to do this because, you know, it's never over till it's over, but I'm going to go out and say that we're going to win this game, and we're going to win by 34. I, that's my prediction. I know it's early, but that's what I'm calling. <clears throat> okay. First down and 10. This is one of the best picks you've made uh, all year. <laughs> I'm in last place. Yep. Did you know that? I, I knew that. There's a handoff. goes up the middle. And uh, that'll be the running back, Julio Jimenez, a gain of about a yard. And it'll be second and, well, two-yard gain, second and eight. 103 left. You know, last, last week, uh, in, you know, the, all these home games, the Panther fans are really supportive. They stand around outside the uh, field house uh, waiting for the boys to come out. And these parents are excited about this team and uh, very supportive. Well, of course they are. Just like you were with your son on the team, right? I did, yeah. yeah. Here's a handoff. Goes off the left tackle, and it'll be stopped for virtually no gain on the play. Bringing up a third down, and I think uh, number 10 is in at quarterback now for Horizon Mario Martinez. It's going to bring a, a third and seven with 20 seconds left in the game. That's they it. will not have to snap it again. It's over. Yeah, it's over. Turn out the lights. The party's over. Our final score is the scoreboard they counts down to 10 and ten, under 10, ten, and we're not going to have another snap of the ball. Horizon the is certainly going to give in to this, and it's going to be a shutout win for the Fort Stockton Panthers tonight. 34 to nothing over the Clint Horizon Scorpions, and look at the flashing lights at Panther Field. I like it. Area 51, I, I feel you. All right, and the boys will shake hands at midfield. Congratulations to the Panthers. A big win tonight over Horizon, 34 to nothing. Panthers were favored by 25, and they get a 34-point win. And now the Panthers will go on the road next week to take on the Crane Golden Cranes, and that'll be a 7.30 kickoff.
from uh, what is that field called? El Ave. El Ave Stadium, that's right, in Crane. We'll be back after these words. Looking for home cooking away from home? Sagebrush Cafe at 2003 West Dickinson is your answer. Mondays, try their chicken fried steak special for only $6.99. Tuesdays, it's the Specialty Burger and Fries and Wing Special Wednesday. They serve the best breakfast around, and they serve it all day long. Sagebrush Cafe offers many other menu items like catfish, salads, and Mexican food also. Sagebrush Cafe, 2003 West Dickinson for home-cooked food away from home. Permian Basin Abstract Company has the experts ready to help everyone with their real estate closings at 600 West Dickinson. With locations in Andrews, Seminole, Pecos, and Fort Stockton, they have complete real estate records, including every record filed in Pecos, Reeves, Loving, Gaines, and Andrews counties, along with mineral records. They welcome landmen and surveyors for research. Great customer service is their number one goal at Permian Basin Abstract. Open Monday through Friday and during the lunch hour from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. At the corner of Dickinson and the Monahans Highway in Fort Stockton, call 3 Doctors Josh Pass, Brian Cherry, and Hewland Pass are optometrists serving the West Texas area. Visit West Texas Eye Care at 605 North Main in Fort Stockton or 611 South Oak in Pecos. They offer complete and thorough eye examinations for the whole family, including therapeutic optometry, eyeglasses, contact lenses, laser surgery consultation, and screenings for macular degeneration and diabetes with an in-office lab. Call to make an appointment today in Fort Stockton at 336-3662 or in Pecos 445-3662. This is Dakota Livesay for the Pecos County State Bank. Experience is a great teacher. The Pecos County State Bank has been in business since 1928. Over all those years, we've gained a lot of experience. At the Pecos County State Bank, you will find answers to your questions and people who understand what you need. You will find experience. A Texas institution since 1928, the Pecos County State Bank. All the bank you'll ever need. Member FDIC. Well, we're back here at the end of our game. Uh, we're going to stay on the air a little bit longer tonight because the scoreboard show, pre, the pre-scoreboard show doesn't even start until 9.30, so we got about 11 or 12 minutes before that begins. And you can see on our Facebook and YouTube uh, pages the Panthers going down, you know, a high-fiving uh, all the fans at the front of the stands. <clears throat> Darren, that's kind of become a tradition here, and the cheerleaders doing the same thing. This has been a great night. The Panther band looked great. Panther football team looked great. Everything uh, very, very well uh, done tonight as far as I'm concerned. Well, it is, and I think, what, Coach Hickman is now like, what, 13-2 and two through 15 games? Is that right? He was 10-2 and two, uh, last year, so 13-2 and two would be right, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that's, a, <clears throat> that's probably a pretty good start. Very good start for our second-year head coach and a Fort Stockton native, by the way. Well, Darren, now let's take a look at some scores. I know a lot of games are not complete yet, so what have you got? Well, okay, that Borger game is, is, is really blown up. Borger 42, La Mesa 12. We've got Seagraves over Tahoka 32 to 20. Mm. Muleshoe over Friona 48 to 20. Lubbock Roosevelt over Brownfield 40 to 14. Dumas over Perryton. This is a final 26 to 7. Amarillo Caprock is now leading Pampa 14 to 7. Vernon over Lakeview, 42 to six, early in the fourth quarter. We've got the Breckenridge Buckaroos, Kyle's home team, 41 to six over Cisco. Buckaroos looking tough. Colorado City over Cristobal, 15 to 12, final in a big upset. Sonora over El Dorado, 39 to 13. Sweetwater only leading Pecos, 45 to 34. That's at the end of the third quarter. Monahan's leading Big Springs, 52 to 14 in the fourth quarter. Uh, we've got Riverside over El Jefferson, 21 to nothing. Those are two El Paso scores. El Paso Cathedral and Fabian's Wildcats, 7 to 7 at halftime over two teams that are really terrible. Andrews Mustangs, 41. Midland Greenwood, 28 in the fourth quarter. Mason Punchers, 14. Ozona Line, 7. Amarillo Tascosa is, is getting beat by Permian, 43 to 6. We've got uh, Abilene. We've got Abilene Cooper over San Angelo Central, 47 to 38. We've got Midland Legacy over Abilene Eagles, 48 to 17. Lubbock Cooper leading Abilene Wiley, 31 to 28. What a close game. We've okay. got Forsan over Stanton, 26 to 14. 
All right, and we're going to take a, a break, and we'll hear some commercials, and we'll be back with more of your scores, okay? You want to give one more? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. All right, we'll be back in a little bit here on KFST right after these words. Do you need dirt work done, trash hauling, roll-off dumpsters, a location built, line locating? Well, then look no further than Little Regina Trucking. They do it all and offer very reasonable prices, too. Stop by at 701 North Rooney or call 432-250-9611 seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Little Regina Trucking. We'll get it done. Amistad Motors in Fort Stockton specializes in the sales and service of new and pre-owned vehicles. They deal in sport utility vehicles, cars, convertibles, sedans, wagons, and minivans. The dealership service department caters to the basic service needs of vehicles and stocks genuine parts and accessories. They also have a finance department that offers assistance with payment calculations and a variety of financing and leasing options. Amistad Motors, located at 2110 West Dickinson in Fort Stockton. Your local real estate professional is Angie Miles at Turnkey Realty, offering experienced, professional, knowledgeable, and friendly real estate consultation. Angie Miles has over 30 years of sales experience and serves the entire Trans-Pecos area, including Fort Stockton, Pecos, Alpine, and Southwest Texas. She can show any listing and can manage residents of commercial or farm and ranch property and also offers property management services. For all your real estate needs, contact Angie Miles with Turnkey Realty, 804 North Main, or call 290-80. 038. Every day is a party day at RNK Rentals. They furnish party supplies like jumping balloons and water slides. They offer cotton candy, popcorn, snow cone, and hot dog machines for rent, and they even have pinatas for sale. They also rent tables and chairs for any occasion. Call them today. That's RNK Rentals at 432. 432- Two five zero nine six one one. Glitzy Trends and the Glitzy Brew Coffee Shop is located at 1101 West Dickinson in Fort Stockton. Open Tuesday through Saturday. They offer delicious coffee, tea, smoothies, hot chocolate, fresh pastries, and desserts. Come down for bingo and loteria on Thursdays at 7 p.m. And Saturdays, Glitzy Trends has all-day games like darts, indoor cornhole, jenga, checkers, chess, and board games. Come by Glitzy Trends and Glitzy Brew today, 1101 West Dickinson. Alamo Tire and Auto Repair announces the opening of their new, more convenient location at 2709 West Dickinson in Fort Stockton. If you can't afford inflated oil fuel prices on repairs, check out Alamo Tire and Auto Repair, which offers the $5 club, allowing families to access affordable vehicle maintenance and repair for a low monthly membership and reduced cost in services, along with some free services. See all the great details today at Alamo Tire and Auto Repair, 2709 West Dickinson, or call 432 242 Seven zero nine two. All Do you right, know Darren. where you can get oh. a great lunch special for a very affordable... I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and uh, we'll get started on some more scores, Darren. I thought you wanted me to do the lunch special. Well, you can. Okay. I don't know what it is. I think Bienvenidos is closed tomorrow, though. It is, it is. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, yes, we've got some more scores. Uh, I forget where I was. Anyway, we've got... Uh, uh, Amarillo Caprock over Pampa, 21 to seven. Vernon over Lakeview, 42 to six. I think I did all of those. Let's get down a little bit further. We've got, of course, uh, Andrews still leading Greenwood, 41 to 28. There's about nine minutes left in that game. Mason over Ozona, 35 to seven. Permian leading Tascosa, 43 to six. Uh, here we go. Forsan over Stanton, 26 to 14. Kermit Yellow Jackets are losing to Kahoma, 51 to 24. Wichita Falls Ryder over Lubbock Coronado, 38 to nothing. Dalhart, 22. Spearman, 10. Holiday, 19. Idaloo, 0. Canyon West Plains, new school, and they're really tough. They're beating Canyon, 41 to 14. Wow. We've got Denver City upsetting Abernathy, 34 to 18. The Midland Bulldogs, my wife's alma mater, leading Amarillo Sandys 32 to 20. The Lubbock Westerners are leading Leveland 13 to 9. Hereford White faces over Shallow Water 28-21. Seminole Indians are leading Clint Mountain View 58 to 14. 
got the Odessa Broncos losing to Keller 30 to 21 in a game that has been delayed. We've got Holy Cross over Sanderson 58 to 24, Van Horn over El Paso Emmanuel Baptist 48 to nothing. Jim Ned over Wall, 14 to seven with about four minutes left. Reagan mm. County over Crane. And we'll be playing Crane next week. Reagan County leading that game, 34 to 20 in the third quarter. Got Odessa Compass Cougars leading the Iran Braves, seven to nothing with two minutes left. Rock Springs over McCamey, 38 to 29. In the third quarter, Wink over Alpine, 18 to six, just the start of the fourth quarter. We got Fort Davis beating Grand Falls, 22 to nothing. Garden City over Midland Trinity, 15 to seven. Balmeray over Lubbock Homeschool Christian, 71 to 34. In a, strand, in, a, in a game of number one versus number two, I imagine that'll change, but Westbrook has beaten Rankin Red Devils, 52 to nothing. Hermely is leading Buena Vista, 28 to 14 in the fourth quarter. And so that's all the scores I've got. All right, we'll be back in a moment. I've got the final game stats for you after these words. Do you know where you can get a great lunch special for a very affordable price? At Bienvenidos Mexican Food Restaurant, of course. Their lunch special is served Monday through Friday during lunchtime. Monday, it's the taco plate. Tuesday, it's the grilled chicken salad. Wednesday, it's Bienvenidos nachos. Thursday, it's the hamburger basket. And Friday, it's the enchilada plate. You can come by Sunday through Friday from 9 to 11 a.m. for a delicious Mexican-style breakfast. Bienvenidos, open Sunday through Friday, starting at 9 a.m. at 405 East Dickinson. When you need supplies in the oil field, the choice is clear. Choose Triple G Supply and Services in Fort Stockton. They have all the oil field supplies you need, including general oil field supplies, PVC pipe and fittings, hydraulic hoses, generators, safety equipment, household supplies, and much more. They also have roustabout services available. Triple G Supply and Services is right here in Fort Stockton at the west end of Dickinson at 1048 Crockett Avenue. Delivery is available to your location. Call 336-8284 Triple G Supply and Services. All right, as we come back, I'm going to have some stats for you. There's a, you know, a couple of guys on crutches after this game, and I, I hate to see injuries. We had uh, one that was in a, an air cast after the game as well. There's a uh, Clint Horizon player also walking off on crutches uh, with his right ankle, it looks like, uh, iced up in, in, an, uh, in an air cast as well. So yeah, we did have some bangs and bruises tonight, Darren. Well, it's a physical game, and, uh, you know, I, I give her – Horizon a lot of credit. They went 0-10 last year. They're 1-2 this year. Yeah. They played hard the whole game, and their quarterback took some big hits, and he just kept getting up and playing some more. Well, in first downs, uh, Fort Stockton had 19. Horizon had 7. The Panthers uh, had 39 rushes for 317 yards, an average of 8.3 yards a rush. Uh, the uh, Horizon's 28 attempts for 39 yards, that's an average of just 1.4 yards per carry. Panthers were 7 out of 16 passing for 70 yards and one touchdown. And Horizon 5 out of 14, 26 yards with one interception. And, Darren, despite us thinking that the Panther, you know, pass defense may be uh, not too good this year, they have done very well with pass defense in the first three games. Really have. They've played well. We thought Alpine would throw the ball quite a bit last week and only had – Two completions. We did yeah. have a couple of penalties, but uh, uh, had another pass interference, but we're playing pretty well. 30 yards for the Panthers in return yardage, 122 yards for Horizon. In punts, we uh, had two punts averaging 40 yards. Horizon, six punts averaging 23. We had 75 yards in penalties, and Horizon just 25 yards in penalties. We had Cash Norman with a touchdown, Corbin Luna, uh, Garcia to Silva for another touchdown on a pass. Corbin Luna, another touchdown, and Velasquez with another touchdown. And our final score tonight, all Fort Stockton, 34 to nothing. The Panthers defeat the Clint Horizon uh, Scorpions. That's going to wrap it up tonight from Panther Field. We'll see you next week in Crane, a 7.30 kickoff. Ken Ripley and Darren Hodges. Thanks also to uh, Tristan Barragon and Alonzo Urias for our camera crew. And we will see you next week. 
You've been listening to Panther Football on KFST, AM and FM, KFSTradio.com, and KFST's Facebook and YouTube pages. Panther Football has been brought to you on KFST by Bucks Lube Center, Bienvenidos Mexican Food Restaurant, the Pecos County State Bank, Cassie Ledesma State Farm Insurance, Amistad Motors, the Steakhouse Restaurant, Triple R Welding, at the Sanitation, Rainwater Motor Company, Farmers Insurance Agent, Adelina Salasad, Citibank, K Bob Steakhouse, Heritage Funeral Home, MJ Fast Lube, Julie's Easy Press, MJ J Trucking, Sawyer Insurance Agency, Glitzy Trends and Glitzy Brew, Contessa Ready Mix, Little Regina Trucking, Lowe's Marketplace, and the Sagebrush Cafe. Panther Football has also been brought to you by Weiss Tire, Designer Carpets and Interiors, Pepito's Cafe, Permian Basin Abstract, the First National Bank, Cactus Health Services, the Guadalajara Mexican Grill, Stockton Glass and Mirror, Porky's Ice House, Angie Miles at Turnkey Realty, The Water Factory, Salceda Urgent Care and Family Medicine, Alamo Tire and Auto Repair, Concept Inc. by CTG Express, Fort Stockton Insurance Agency, Fort Stockton ISD, Ram Country of Fort Stockton, Triple G Supply and Services, Big Ben Concrete, West Texas Eye Care, Panther Pictures, and by RK Reynolds and Party Supplies. Thanks for tuning in for Panther Football.